the beginning. We all come to a story with hopes and expectations, looking for an answer. Sometimes it would be better to live with that hope without ever knowing the full story. In a horror story, there are only victims and monsters. And the trick is not to end up as either. But trapped by the genre, we are all ripped to pieces along the way. This is not the story I hoped it would be. This is not the ending I wanted. This story will eat us alive. This story is a monster. And monsters wear many faces.
Hey, kiddo. How are you? I'm good, Mom. How are you? This trip might take a little longer than I thought. I'm sorry I've been gone so much lately, Logan. Oh my god, Mom. It's not your fault people get all murdery. What happened? Just... work stuff. Right. Well, Dad and I are just watching the latest episode of Night Springs here. Mom, it's so good. No spoilers! I'll let you get back to the show. You were supposed to wait and watch with me. I love you both. This is what happens when you go on work trips, Mom. Love you too. And say hi to Casey. Tell him to stop brooding so much. Logan! I will. Bye, kiddo. Logan thinks you should try cheering up. <laughs> Snarky kid. Wonder where she gets that from. It can't be a coincidence that another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Feels like the killer's leaving us a message. Hmm. I'm glad you're on this case with me, Anderson. It's right up your alley. You should take lead. Think of me as the backup. Okay. Any words of advice? Nothing that would cheer anyone up. Here we are. Cauldron Lake. Time to get to work. A deputy was supposed to be here to show us to the crime scene. There's the car, so where's the deputy? <laughs> Eaten by a bear? I'll check out that map. I think I hear someone. Could be our deputy. I can go take a look. Quit your belly aching, Thornton. I'm up here now. That's just how the cookie crumbles. Hey, over here. Hey there. Agent Casey, right? Sheriff Breaker said you'd be coming by to take over the case. You're half right. Anderson? Saga Anderson. I'll be leading this case. Seems you already know my partner, Alex Casey. Shoot. Sorry about that, ma'am. I'm Deputy Mulligan. I just figured that, you know, that, uh... Those damn feds gonna show up, Mulligan? Federal agent's right here, Thornton. My partner, Thornton. <laughs> Down at the crime scene. He's not what you call the sharpest axe in the shed. Right here? What do you mean? I think it was you? Oh, shit! They didn't hear me, did they? What can you tell us about the crime scene? Tell them about the heart. I was getting to that, Thornton. <laughs> well, we reckon there are some uh, organs that are currently outside the victim's person when they should be, well, you know, inside. Were there any witnesses? Yeah, a couple out-of-towners. I wonder what they were doing sneaking around the woods at night. I mentioned the city folk. It's pretty suspicious. Not that we have anything against city folk, cried Thornton. But don't worry. Sheriff Breaker took him back to town a while ago. I want to see the body. How do we get there? Oh, sure, that's real simple. Just through the hole in the fence, down the hill towards the lake, around the old convenience store, you can't miss it. Everything's been closed since the area was fenced off. The store, the campground, all of it. Hey, Mulligan, tell him I'm here, Winky. I'll show him around. They got it, Thornton.
Before we get to the crime scene, there's time to review the facts of the case so far. Make sure I'm seeing the clues clearly. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that had the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm-hmm. Real funny, Anderson. Stairs are out. You okay to jump down? I'm not that old. Uh, <clears throat> Fucking nature. Gives me a headache. There's too much sky. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Is that a... kid's lunchbox? An Alex Casey movie lunchbox. Casey hates the endless jokes about coincidentally having the same name as a fake detective. He hates those cheesy crime books. But he really hates the movies. The Mind Place. My version of the Mind Palace technique. To sift through clues and work the case. Building the Mind Place again for each case. Using each field office as a model in my head. The facts are on the board. to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Did you get lost, Anderson? Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did, the next coffee's on me. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service. Ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. I'll be back in a second. Roger. A lunchbox again. Who's leaving these out here? Welcome back, Anderson. So, 
FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. What? Those are real? You guys hiring? Boring. He's joking. Let's just see this body, shall we? Now, this is the scene of the crime. We found him on the table. Now, we didn't touch nothing. You know, procedures and stuff. Thanks, Deputy. No tarp. You owe me a coffee. Okay. Let's start by examining our guest of honor. Does this fit the M.O. of the previous murders? Step one. Examine the corpse. I think I saw something. It'll only take a minute. I'll wait here. A creepy twig sculpture? Wonder what's inside. I should take a look around for a way to open this thing. Wanna start by inspecting the body, Anderson? Hey there, Mr. Deer. You remind me of a dream I had. Eleven remaining. Anderson. Hey, let's get back to work over here, can we? Good to see you still in one piece, Anderson. Forest can be a dangerous place. Body is positioned on the table. Ritualistic. Another body turns up just as we arrive in town. Coincidence? The killer left the heart right next to the body. Inside stab wound, chest cut open, heart removed. Bruising on the wrist from the cargo straps holding him down. 
Heart removed from chest, strapped by the wrists. Definitely matches the previous murders. But this time the heart and the straps were left behind. More clues to work with. This makes four murders that we know about. Who is our victim? Who killed him? Need to find more clues. Large amount of blood on the table. The victim died here. Multiple people were here. Multiple killers? Someone left in a hurry. Knocked the tripod over. Was it for a camera? Someone was drinking beer. They spent time here. Waiting. Any idea who the victim is? Oh, I sure do. His name is Nightingale. He was FBI. He came to town about 13 years ago. Now, I haven't heard a word about him since. Well, until now. Nightingale? Robert Nightingale? Oh, yes. You probably knew him. Brothers in arms. Oh, and sisters. So you knew our victim? Well, I didn't recognize him in his current state. But yeah, I ran into him a few times at Quantico. Never worked any cases together. After his partner got killed in the field, he went off the deep end. Got the boot pretty quick after that. So what happened to Nightingale after the Bureau let him go? I only know the rumors. Depression led to booze, booze led to paranoia. He got some wild ideas in his head, chased ghosts until he fell off the map. Guess he ended up here. I bet there's more to that story. But no happy ending. Nightingale went missing 13 years ago, 2010. The same as all the other victims. Certainly fits the pattern. Makes me wonder what was going on that year. Probably something this town wants to forget. Robert Nightingale, ex-FBI, came to Bright Falls 13 years ago. Boot prints indicating multiple killers. Quite the party. They planned for the murder to happen here. Passing the time with equipment ready. They were waiting for him. But why Nightingale? He's been missing for 13 years. Why here? Why now? Profiling. Get into the subject's head. See what they saw. Feel what they felt. Use whatever I know about them to guide my intuition to a revelation. Piece it together. Agent Nightingale has been MIA for 13 years. How did he end up here? Up from the lake that's not a lake. It's dark. He was there too. You are not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. Robert Nightingale came from the lake before his murder. Nightingale was chosen as the victim. Why? Click the switch. It goes click. Lights are off. At somebody's home. Somebody's home. This wasn't some random act of violence. This was a ritual. And Nightingale a component. They didn't see him as a person. More like a container for something.
Finding a Casey movie lunchbox out here can't be a coincidence. Another message? The lake is connected to Nightingale somehow. Casey, let's take a look down by the lake. Lead the way. Sounds good. Uh, this way, right? Right. Well, okay. Well, I'll just, uh, I'll just wait here. This one of your hunches, Anderson? Did something happen at the lake? I think Nightingale came up from that direction. From the lake. Probably looking for shelter. Safety. They were waiting for him. When you're ready, I'd love to hear what you put together so far. Sure. It's not that complicated. Nightingale was out in the woods alone at night, possibly nude. The killers knew he was here, ambushed him, dragged him to the campgrounds, strapped him to the table, cut his heart out. But then they were interrupted by those witnesses, the bookers. The job is unfinished. That seems pretty complicated to me. What was this guy doing skinny dipping at this time of year? Haven't figured that part out yet. Mm-hmm. Lots of questions. Lots of answers for us to find. I didn't know trees got that big. Gives me the creeps. Yoon tracks. Barefoot. Nightingales? They come out from under the boulder. It makes no sense. There's a piece of paper on the ground. A page full of text on one side. Not a printout. Written with a typewriter. Old school. Lines scratched out and edits added with a pen. Mm-hmm. Like a manuscript. Page of a story. Hmm. The killer left a message. It's for us. The text is about us. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale. And then there was the page they found. The first step down into terrifying depths. Reading, Reading the, words. the words. These, These words, words felt like a message. Felt like a message. Someone knew they were here. Someone playing a game with them. An, An invitation. invitation. How could they, they not accept? accept even, even if they, they knew it would end up hurting them. them. Someone's been watching us. Playing a sick game with us. You were right. This is right up my alley. Nightingale came this way. Either he dropped this page, or the killers left it for us. We found a page in the woods. A story about these events. What is Nightingale's role in this? I carry his words close to my chest now. Inside. The awful truth. They must dig out. Something was put inside him. In his chest. I must find out what. The victim was one of their own. FBI Special Agent Robert Nightingale, gone missing here 13 years ago. Now he had suddenly turned up, only to be murdered in a brutal ritual on the very day of their arrival. And then there was the page. This page, the first page that they had found, not the last. The first step down into terrifying depths, secret truths trembling beyond the threshold. Reading the words, these words, felt like a message. Was a message. Someone knew they were here, what they were doing. Someone playing a game with them, leading them on. An invitation. How could they not accept? The sheer audacity of this impossible mystery presented to them, even if they knew it would end up hurting them.
This mug always cheers me up. If only the rest of the Bureau knew what a softy Casey is. The Mile High Strangler case. Proud of that one. Eleven remaining. Miss you, kiddo. I'll be home soon. My first ever prank on Casey. A true classic. I think he came from the lake, but his tracks make no sense. Found all I can here. Time to properly examine the body. See what I can find inside. Casey, I think something's been put inside Nightingale's body. Let's tell the deputies to get the body to the town morgue. Okay. Whoever wrote that page made sure it read like a story. Like a scene from a thriller. I hate all of it. The text said we'd find more. I believe it. But what's the purpose? They're twisting events to create their own narrative to do what? Entertain some fantasy? Projecting their desires? Are we characters or the audience? Witnesses to their design? All the above? It's all about control. Deciding what happens to who. Don't let it drag you in. Too late. I'm already hooked. I need the next chapter. There's another lunchbox. Did you know this entire area is inside a caldera? This whole mountain used to be an active volcano. Imagine the force it took to carve this crater out of the earth. Calderas are pretty rare, so be sure to take it in. So, essentially, we're standing in the gaping maw of hell. Hey, you got it. You made it back. Good. I used to love geology when I was in school. I helped Logan build a great baking soda volcano for her science fair. Cheating on a science fair? That's almost a crime, Anderson. I'm not gonna say no to quality time with a volcano. I mean, my daughter. You get lost, Anderson.
Deputy, I want the body taken back to town for a proper examination, ASAP. Well, sure, but the coroner won't be back in town for another week after Deerfest. Not a problem. I'll do it myself. Oh, and Sheriff Breaker called to say he's got the bookers at the Odeer Diner in town. Oh, and I've got a key to the gate. It's a shortcut back to the parking lot just up the hill. Thanks. Let's get the car, drive to Bright Falls, and talk to these witnesses, the bookers. At the diner, right? I could use a cup of coffee. Let's try that shortcut the deputy mentioned. Sounds good. Seems like a nice town so far. Murders aside. Pretty woods. Cute lodge we got set up in. We should go for a hike if we get a chance. Now you're just being mean, Anderson. Deputies aren't exactly up to the task, but hopefully the sheriff will be more helpful. Not a surprise about the deputies. Doubt they see much stuff this gruesome. Another one of those lunch boxes. Can't fit the clues all together yet. Heart removed, tripod, tracks leading to a dead end. Tripod? Mm. For a camera? To record a snuff film? Maybe. And why take out his heart just to throw it away? To stuff in something for us to find. The Federal Bureau of Control? That's a new one. Toxic volcanic gas, huh? The FBC is an obscure branch. Only shows up for unusual cases. Well, what's so unusual about volcanic gas? Beats me. I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Here we are. Let's drive back to town and meet the sheriff at the diner. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery. Need to swing by the lodge to get anything from the field office? No, I'm all set. I'll park there anyway. I want to walk to the diner, get a feel for the town. The diner's just up the waterfront. Shouldn't keep the sheriff and our witnesses waiting. I smell coffee. So sleepy. Just a few more days. Hey, how are you doing? I'm gonna go check something out. Be right back. Got it. Rest easy, buddy.
It's not opening. Debate on whether pets should be allowed at this year's bake sale. For those of you just tuning in, you're listening to the Pat Man Radio Hour, brought to you by Davis Family Moose Jerky. can't force it open. Let me guess, the FBI. Welcome to Bright Falls. It's nice to have you here. I got you both some coffee. Oh, it's Washington's finest. Nice to meet you, Sheriff. I'm set for coffee. You know, I wouldn't say no to another. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. This is Agent Alex Casey. Tim Brinker. And let me just say, I'm happy you two are here. Frankly, we could use the help. Your deputies said you had a couple of witnesses here. They made them sound like suspects. Mulligan and Thornton are still on about that? No, no, the bookers don't strike me as the murdering type, but you can decide for yourselves. They're just inside having coffee and pie to calm their nerves. I'll see what they have to say. Casey, you compare notes with the sheriff. Take your time. We've looked through the case files you sent over, Sheriff. Have you had many people besides the known victims go missing? Sure. But it's slowed down ever since Cauldron Lake was fenced off. Let me guess. Missing person cases spiked around 2010. The fence was built just after. Now, why'd you go and do that? Another Alex Casey lunchbox? to protect its citizens. Can't open this with my bare hands. Did you get lost, Anderson? Hello? I can't believe that happened. I feel bad for these guys. Can't open this with my bare hands. Excuse me. I'm Agent Saga Anderson. Are you the bookers? That's us. I'm Tammy, and he's Ed. Hello, officer. Just Saga is fine, Ed. So are we being charged with anything? Because if not, we'd love to get back to our hotel and decompress after what we saw. Take a bath, screw into pillows, that kind of thing. We're not charging you. I just have a few questions. Nothing to stress about, OK? 
What were you doing at Cauldron late last night? I'm a writer. True crime. We're here from New York, doing some research on a famous novelist, Alan Wake, who went missing here. I was down at the lake, getting some details. Perfectly legal. So what did you see in the woods? This naked dude came out of the lake, and he was acting crazy, shouting weird shit at us. He must have been on something. Unless skinny dipping at dawn is a thing around here. Then we heard shooting. We ran into these psychos in deer masks. They were tearing into the naked guy with knives, like some kind of satanic cult. And then we bolted and called the cops. What makes you say it was a cult? <laughs> the masks and knives aren't enough. They were shouting, Cult of the tree. The cult of the tree. Cult of the tree. Oh, and then we found a... The whole thing was terrifying. That's all. The cult of the tree. What aren't the bookers telling me? I found their necklace. The symbol is two triangles. The cult wants their spruce tree back, Tammy. Finders keeper is Ed. My publisher will want this on the cover. Tammy found something. A necklace belonging to one of the cultists. The bookers were at Cauldron Lake. Why? The prince was built to hide what's there. They say the rider fell in the lake. Private party. No trespassing. My book has questions. Past the bolt cutters. They broke in for the sake of Tammy's book. Nothing to do with a the murder. They were telling the truth. So you found something there, right? A necklace these cultists may have dropped. Okay. Wow. How did you put that together? It's evidence. You need to hand it over. Okay. Okay. Told you not to keep that thing to me. Thanks. This could prove to be helpful. Do me a favor. Stick around town for now in case we have any more questions. <laughs> Like we'd even dream of missing dear Oh God, Saga, Saga Anderson, as I live and breathe. I thought we'd never see you back here after that awful, awful thing happened to your baby girl. How are you? Um, I'm sorry. Who are you? I don't know what you're talking about. It's me, silly. Rose, you know me. I don't think I do. And what horrible thing happened to my baby girl? She drowned. Your daughter. That's so weird, you don't remember. How do you know I have a daughter? Oh, I know what this is. You're blocking out your traumatic memories. Happens on TV all the time. No. You're mistaking me for someone else. <laughs> if you say so. All set? My guys have Nightingale at the morgue, if you're ready to go take a look. Let's go. Well, Casey, I got a lead. Looks like we're dealing with a cult. The cult of the tree. A murder cult. Fuck. Have you heard of this cult of the tree, Sheriff? Only the urban legend. If you're in the woods at night, the cult will get you. That sort of thing. We're not gonna find out you're the Grand Wizard or something, are we? I played some D&D back in the day. Wizard was always my favorite class. 
Morning, Sheriff. Looks like you have some guests. Ah, morning, Ted. Yeah, real important guests. Deerfest. Always draws a crowd, right? <laughs> Too true. More the merrier. Have a good one, Sheriff. Hey, what do you know about that waitress from the diner? <laughs> Rose? Yeah, she's a bit of a space case. She always has been. Why? What'd she do now? She kept saying that my daughter drowned. She even knew my name. It was all very weird. Rose has a talent for saying the weirdest thing possible. But it's best not to take it personally. Hey, boss. The corpse is downstairs ready to go. Yep, in the morgue, all prepped. I'd like to take a closer look as soon as possible. Lead the way, Sheriff. I'll be right with you, sir. Oh, this is the Bright Falls Sheriff yep, yep. Station. Just here Anything to you need. pay my ticket. Just, uh, let us know. We appreciate the support, money. Sheriff. Sir, some patience, please. See you around. Agent. As you know, the investigation is being taken over by the federal agents. Sheriff Raker wants us to cooperate fully. Aye, aye, ma'am. I'm being serious, Nelson. Oh, dear. I am a tourist, and it appears that I'm lost in the woods. If only had a tour guide, also. Bear season. Oh, no. A bear. Help. Did somebody call for a tour guide? Oh, wow. Koskala Brothers Adventure Tours. Unforgettable tour experiences at affordable prices. That's right. I'm Ilmo Koskala voted best coffee roaster slash tour guide by Coffee World Magazine. And I'm here to give you the tour of a lifetime. But Ilmo, I've heard the government has seized and restricted access to many local nature attractions. That is true, Yanko. Many local attractions have recently become fenced off by the government. And that's why, at Coscala Brothers Adventure Tours, we say, Fuck the government! We have both cutters. Oh, wow. Oh. You think of everything. And we'll take you anywhere! Hiking through the scenic Elderwood National Park. Fishing in the crystal clear waters of Bright Falls Dam. Bird watching at Majestic Mirror Peak. The tour of a lifetime is just one phone call away. Book now to get a 9% discount on this limited edition Oh Dear Diner Coffee Thermos. So we share a morgue with the funeral home next door. It's a shoestring budget. I guess you guys don't have that problem, though. Our only coroner rotates between a few other towns, and he's away this week. But you can handle this, right? I'm qualified to perform examinations. Yes. <clears throat> Something about morgues. They always cheer me up. I can't say I feel the same.
Okay. Let's take a look at our patient. I'll start with the external inspection before performing the internal examination. What was the cause of death? What other clues can the body give me? Aha. Uh -huh. They did leave something inside his chest. The body shows signs of being submerged in water post-mortem. It doesn't add up. There's writing on here. Can't make it out. Writing? How'd they manage that? Defensive wounds. They put up a fight. This looks like text. A tattoo? Nightingale didn't strike me as a tattoo guy. Time to see what Nightingale's body can tell us. Text is smudged. Looks inverted. Heart can't have been marked before removal. Makes sense. There's definitely something in his chest. Did the killers leave it there? Same type of page we found at Cauldron Lake. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her. The Taken could not see into bright light. Light hurt them, made them vulnerable. Nightingale had no heart, but here he was. Killing. Someone's created a fucked up fantasy about us. Hey, hold on. We found these kinds of pages. I didn't think they were relevant to this case. I have them right here. No, 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 wait! Sheriff? What the hell? see her could not see into bright light Get out of my house! Get out of my house! 
see. Vanished. He didn't have a heart. But he still got up. The page predicted all of it. It helped me fight him. Oh, oh, oh. He, he just disappeared? What the hell is going on here? We need to figure that out if we're going to do anything about it. Somehow we need to make sense of this. There is no rational explanation to what we just saw. I'd love to blame this on mass hallucination caused by inhaling volcanic gas, but we both know that's bullshit. This was supernatural. Well, I'm glad you were the one to say it. Now we can figure out a way forward. Right before things got crazy, Sheriff Breaker just vanished. Maybe the Sheriff knew more than he was letting on. Hmm. He seemed anxious, like he dreaded what was coming. One more mystery. The victim of a ritualistic murder turns into a monster. Is there a connection? Looks to me like the cult of the tree is performing rituals to create monsters. Hmm, maybe. We need to start with learning this cult's goal, their purpose. There's one of the pages on the floor. These pages are important. Breaker dropped one before he disappeared. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult. A ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster. The autopsy room was a mess, like a bomb had gone off. Nightingale hunted Saga. Didn't see her under the light, lurched past her. The Taken could not see into bright light. The light hurt them, hurt the darkness in them, made them vulnerable. I flick the switch, it goes click. Show me the clicker, lights are off, but somebody's home. Hemingway brought you here, witch. Get out of my house, Nightingale shouted. A wave of terror crashed through Saga's head. The awful truth. Nightingale had no heart in his chest, but here he was, killing a monster. The world had lurched out of balance. You found yourself trapped on the far side of the mirror. Saga was back at Cauldron Lake. He was there too, Nightingale. Was, but wasn't a Taken, a creature of darkness. He was beyond her reach, where some other strange reality, the Dark Place, merged with ours. This place and the Dark Place, a tarp thrown over top, drowning everything beneath it, a flood of darkness, soaking into everything, spoiling it, rotting it. The page called this area an overlap. Saga had to pursue Nightingale into the overlap. Finding a way in would be difficult, required precise steps, a ritual. Saga would learn how. Stop the monster before he killed again. Her job, he'd be inside, waiting for her. A dead man turned into a monster. Light as a way to fight him. Pages predicting the future. There's no rational explanation. This is the case we must solve. Must be locked from the other side. The page places Nightingale back at Cauldron Lake. Calls him a Taken. We need to head over there, stop him, before anyone else gets hurt. Okay. We, 
We heard gunshots, y'all okay? Did you get spooked by the bodies? Sheriff Breaker disappeared. Nightingale turned into some sort of a monster, and there are offices down. You two handle things here. We need to get back to Cauldron Lake immediately. Fuck me. That's terrible. We'll do what we can, man. That's crazy, right, Thornton? Nightingale's heart was missing. They're a fine pair. Hey, how you doing? My client has been held here long enough. Are you gonna let me speak to them or not? Uh, just a moment, ma'am. Someone will be right with you. Nightingale and his cult are dangerous. We need to be prepared in case things escalate more than they already have. Can you call it in, Casey? A smart choice, Anderson. Yeah, A Agent Casey here. Yeah. We need backup. The Bright Falls case. Whoever you can spare. ASAP. Think we'll actually find Nightingale at the lake? The pages haven't been wrong yet. We can't assume the person writing these pages isn't playing us. I agree. But it's our best lead. Mercetta won't roll over on the issues. Uh, rinse and repeat. Clock out, get a beer. Or maybe three. I need to come clean, Anderson. I know why Nightingale was here 13 years ago. He was chasing a writer, Alan Wake. Tammy mentioned him. She's writing a book on his disappearance. You know the detective character from his books, Alex Casey. Yeah, I've heard the jokes at the office. Cold case Casey. Murder case Casey. <laughs> Sorry. Ha uh, ha. Uh, the same name, similar job. It's the first thing anyone thinks of. It annoyed me, but that was it. Then, ten years ago, I started getting strange letters in the mail. Fragments of prose describing murders. You've heard the stories about what happened in New York. Some of it, at least. Bodies started to pile up. It was a murder cult. Turns out the fragments sent to me were from the crime books of Alan Wake. The cult was copycatting the murders from the books. In their heads, they were performing a ritual to bring Wake back. Their imagined prophet. After that case, I started looking into Wake's disappearance on the side. And you thought this case might be connected to him? His name does keep popping up. I just wanted you to have all the facts. Next time, give them to me before we find ourselves in the middle of a horror story. The page says Nightingale's in something called an overlap. Need to figure out exactly what that means. I'm happy I'm not in charge of this mess. Thanks. Let's start looking for Nightingale where he was killed. The writer of these pages knows what will happen. Because they're behind this, or because they can see what's coming. Impossible things are happening here. A world operating on different rules. <sighs> I need to understand this strange logic. To see the clues. To solve the case. Hey, hello there. How are you folks doing? Those restricted hello. Areas, 
Saga Anderson. Are you two supposed to be here? I'm Ilmo Koskela. Fantastic to meet you. And yes, Stephen here hired me to show him through the woods. He's in town on important government business. Fixing this impressive piece of hardware. I work for the FBC, ma'am. I'm authorized to be here. And I bet you two are here about that murder. Nasty stuff. How's it going? How did you hear about the murder, Ilmo? Do you know anything that could help us? People tend to tell me things. The Koskala brothers are kind of a household name around here. Speaking of, uh, if you're looking for some fun, stop by Watery. Just down the road from Bright Falls, there's our Coffee World Amusement Park. There's Sauna, Sauna da Vista. <laughs> and we offer a variety of guided tours, hunting, fishing, hiking, whatever strikes your fancy. You name it, we probably got it. What is this thing? It's just a monitoring station, ma'am. The Federal Bureau of Control checks volcanic activity and air toxicity levels. No need to worry, though. It's mostly for research purposes. That's one gorgeous wetter saga. <laughs> Looks Nordic. I bet a family member made it. My mother made this sweater for me. How do you know? I knew it. My mom used to knit those sweaters for me and my brother. Watery, my hometown, was founded by Finnish immigrants. So between your name and the sweater, I figured your family might be from Finland too. Suomi, Finland. Ulla, Karjalan Close. My mom's family is from Sweden originally. I don't know much about them beyond that. The sweater is just something to remember her by. Stephen, we're investigating a murder that occurred nearby. What can you tell me about your bureau? Nothing that isn't classified, I'm afraid. But I don't know anything about a murder. Operations here are run by a different department. I'm just here to make some repairs. The wiring on this thing frays every couple months. Yep, that's the raccoons. They grow real big here with teeth like you wouldn't believe. Can not run through a garbage can. That's all I've got for the moment. I think that shouldn't be here. Let's get to the murder site, Casey. A lot of things about this case keep bothering me. But one thing feels really off. Breaker's disappearance. I don't get the feeling Nightingale was responsible. Hmm. He was about to give you more of those pages. Something didn't want us to have them? Or was protecting him from Nightingale? Spontaneous combustion? I don't know. I... Not the kind of disappearance we normally solve. Our crime scene's drowning. I never minded rain. Feels like home. No sign of Nightingale. But the page did place him at Cauldron Lake, in an overlap. So how do we follow him there? Maybe something around here will tell us. Bare feet. Nightingale. I'll see where these footprints lead. Can you come through the crime scene one more time, KC? Just in case. On it. If anything comes up, I'll radio you.
The tracks lead into the water. Where'd you go from here? I can feel something. A presence. Nightingale isn't far. I know Nightingale is somewhere around Cauldron Lake. The tree was a threshold. This place and the dark place. <laughs> You're in over your head. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. The threshold, like a doorway, leading to Nightingale. It's somehow connected to a tree, which is ladle. like it's reacting to the light. These aren't the same tracks that were here before. They're headed into the tree, not out of it. My flashlight burned the dark stuff away. It was covering- The fuse was in place. Saga stepped into the witch's hut. Inside, a bright light. There were objects that stood out to Saga, as if the light had manifested them. The witch's hut. Okay. I trust the pages to lead me to the over- The fuse was in place. She found it among the junk in the forest. Saga stepped inside the witch's hut. Something rushed through her. A presence. Familiar. She couldn't quite place it. Something long forgotten. She tried to hold on to it, but it was already gone. Inside, a bright light. Saga felt safe, like nothing could hurt her here. There were objects that stood out to Saga as if the light had manifested them, pulled them from the darkness. A shift in reality, heavy with hidden meanings. A coffee thermos, a shoebox, a mop and a bucket, a poster on the wall, and in the cabinet, another manuscript page. Is Witch's Ladle the doorway into the overlap? If so, that's where I'll find Nightingale. Light is the key. To stay safe. But for something more to be revealed as well. I need to find the Witch's Hut. Witch's hut. Anderson, I thought I saw something in the woods. Probably just a deer, but I'm gonna check it out. Okay. I found another page. Following up on a leak. This fuse is busted. This one looks good. People should really stop littering, though. of the witch in the sign. Saga addressed the witch. 
the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. Witch's ladle, towering over Saga, watching her and the witch. The image of the witch in the sign, Nightingale's heart, a cold, dead lump in her hand. Her definition of sanity had changed since she arrived in this town, but she trusted the pages, was forced to. Saga addressed the witch. She squinted to read the first part of the ritual words, the smudged line on the heart. The second part recited from memory, the words she had read on the page. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. Saga pushed the heart through the hole in the sign. This was the key. The tree was the threshold. The page from the witch's hut seems to be describing some kind of ritual. Nightingale's heart disappeared from the morgue. Where is it now? To get into the overlap, I need to find Nightingale's heart. Read the line imprinted on it, plus the line on the page to the witch's ladle sign. Then push the heart through the hole in the sign. I need Nightingale's heart to get to the overlap. Where is it? The cultist close. He was there, but he was risen. Nightingale was there. The opposite of sunspots. Who said that? That's not it. I don't have what I need to find Nightingale's heart. There must be more. Nightingale's heart. Where is it? Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store. The witch had stolen his heart. Get out of my house. Nightingale's heart is at the general store, in a fridge. I need to check the general store for the heart. Casey! I'm headed to the general store. I think I know how to get into the overlap. Uh, roger that. I followed some ATV tracks in the woods and got a bit turned around. Did you get lost? I've only been lost once in my life, Anderson. The years I spent with my ex-wife. I'll find my way back, don't you worry about it. We're dealing with an organized group of... The cult of the tree is behind these murders. This case just became much more complicated. I'll need to start a new file. But it's my first cult case. Exciting. These stashes could contain clues about the cult. Better keep an eye out for more. Okay, okay. I need to know more about the code of the tree if I'm going to shut them down. Hmm. 
Text on the heart is clearer now. Legible. I feel like I recognize this. The fridge. The heart. I knew it would be here. Like I saw it in a dream. And now I need to give the heart to the witch. Makes total sense. Saga edged toward the broken door, her gun ready, flashlight aimed ahead. Nightingale said it would be here. The Cauldron Lake General Store was overgrown, left to rot. Saga thought about the cult of the tree. They had been here, waiting, planning a gruesome ritual murder. Meanwhile, they played cards in the general store, like it was just another late-night poker game. Saga stepped closer to the door. Had the animal broken it? There was a loud crash. Saga found herself face to face with a cultist, a hulking figure in a raincoat. We watch in the night, wild eyes behind a plastic deer mask, an axe in his raised hand. Sounds literary, but what does it mean? Found the heart in the fridge, just like the page said I would.
Casey, there are cultists in the area. They're taken, like Nightingale. Watch yourself out there. Yeah, thanks for the heads up. I'm still finding my way back. You have the worst sense of direction. <laughs> Any city in America I can get through drunk and blindfolded. It's these damn trees. Okay, okay. I'm en route to Witch's Ladle. I need to perform a ritual to open the overlap. This case just keeps getting weirder. But it is exciting. The wave crashed on the far side of the mirror. I brought you the heart, witch. Show me the terror. I think I'm in the overlap. Are you still on your way? Casey! Casey, do you read me? Logan? Logan! Where are you? What the fuck was that? Logan's back in Virginia. You're imagining things. is looping like a nightmare the writer went into the lake banished the dark presence taken still lurked in the woods the dark place receded the current pulled back those with darkness inside into the lake nightingale was there one of them the dark presence jagger had taken him the witch had stolen his heart they sank beneath the waves the dark place wandering in the shadows muttering to themselves it's dark i'm lost where am i who am i i can't remember it's cold premium cabins for rent in bright falls who said that can you hear me i need help please stop this what did i do 
You must dig it out. Their shape shifted. Echoes of the writer's dreams. Fading in, fading out. The next story and the story after that. The writer was writing again. Nightingale hunt. <laughs> 
In danger. The dark presence. Danger. Thanks. Got it. Are you okay? Oh, no! It's my fault! It got out with my face! Scratch! Sir, calm down. I'm gonna need you to take a breath. He's... he's changed the story. The dark presence. We must stop it before... Easy now. First things first. What's your name? My name is Alan Wake. I'm a writer. I, I've been... Wake? Where did you come from? You've been missing for 13 years. 13? Anders, where did you go? All of a sudden, the radio stopped working, and then that flooding just disappeared. Crazy forest. Is this who I think it is? Casey, say hello to Alan Wake. Mr. Wake, this is Special Agent Alex Casey. He'll escort you to our car. Casey, I'll meet you there, right after I take a look around. If the flooding's receded, there might be evidence we missed earlier. Okay. See you there. Alex Casey? How? Am I still... Is this the dark place? No, it can't be. I got out. Yeah, the PI for your books has the same. Should look around. Great. With the flooding gone, could be further clues out there. The flooding disappeared very suddenly. I wonder if there's any connection to the overlap to Nightingale. A locked box. Is that the cult of the tree symbol on it? Notes and ammo. Looks like they're tools of the trade. The cult doesn't see their victims as people. He'd been on the trail of the writer forever. The writer he despised. Hemingway, Bukowski, Wake. I'll get you. I'll find you. I'll make you pay. You're in over your head. He descended into the tunnels, from the dark city, into the ocean of darkness. Next stop, Caldera Street Station. Something, a presence, rumbled. Not a train. Shadows shifted on the platform. The writer's cult waited for him there. The cult of the word. A cultist leaned close. I carry his words close to my chest now. 
You're not allowed in the lake until he says otherwise. He'd be caught. Murdered. They got him. They didn't get him. He was reborn out of hate. He was there. But he was risen. Sent to find the light switch up from the lake that was not the lake. Monsters. Back at Witch's Ladle, Saga pointed the flashlight at the strange, dark substance. The same substance Nightingale had left at the morgue. There was something hidden under it. She strained to see. The opposite of sunspots in her eyes. Blacker than black. Suddenly a change. The light reacted to the substance. A feedback loop surging up her arm. Saga squeezed the flashlight, willing it to penetrate the dark matter. Burn it away. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. She had hit the Taken in the head, but had not even slowed the monster down. She took aim and fired again. Another headshot. This time, the Taken staggered.
there's something written here. A poem? Or a riddle? A little clothespin doll. Perfect weird souvenir for Logan. Reminds me of the nursery rhymes I read to Logan when she was little. Something feels different. I should look around. A charm. Cute. It'll go great on the bracelet Logan made for me. Huh. That was strange. Gotta keep an eye out for more of these rhymes. An overlap of the dark place needed a push from both directions to manifest itself. Reality in our world eroded by repeated dark lore tied to a location and a counterpoint. A work of art, a horror narrative crafted in the depths of the dark place, connecting to the story on the other side to reach out through the weakened veil. A story of a lawman whose heart was cut out of his chest. Two corrupt men killed by their own twisted ambition. A haunted old woman drowned in a bathtub. Twisted reflections on the other side of the mirror. Arcs stabbing through realities, amplifying the influence of the dark place. These elements working in conjunction made a trickle that became a torrent, a wormhole, a vortex, and the art, the map, became the nightmare territory where the dark place encroached on our reality, a blanket over it, where they all overlapped causing reality to twist and loop like a bad dream, remolding anything and anyone within its dark horror design. Another one of those rhymes. You were a handsome deer.
a weird feeling something's changed. What is this? Oh, damn. Another charm for my bracelet. And how's it going down there? I think I'm done here. I'll meet you at the parking lot. More of those kids' lunchboxes. I've been thinking more about the cult of the tree. What sort of cult refers to themselves as a cult? In my experience, they don't. There's a rhyme over here. Right. Children in Bright Falls all grew up hearing stories about the cult of the tree. Feral maniacs living in the woods. Satanists chanting, we watch in the night as they perform blood sacrifices in the forests. Or things not quite human lurking in the dark. There were many versions of the story, but they all shared one important element. Danger in the dark, in the woods. Somewhere among all the urban legends lay a secret truth the real identity of the cultists prowling in the woods. Real faces hid behind the masks, real hands held the knives, real people fulfilling a grim purpose. The forest was not safe. People were right to keep their children away from the trees. Another charm. 
Good thing Logan made me this bracelet. The lake wasn't a lake! Another locked box. This carving looks fresh. Saga, with a heightened survival instinct kicking in, it seemed like she had just squeezed down the trigger of her pistol once as the Taken was coming closer and closer, but the gun kept firing again and again faster than possible, like she was rapidly pulling the trigger. Nightingale goes missing for 13 years, shows up murdered, and then turns into a monster. After I stop Nightingale, a rider who's also been missing for 13 years turns up. What's the connection? What kind of case is this? That's it.
creepy dolls, mysterious rhymes. No weirder than anything else going on, I guess. The FBC is definitely playing with things they don't fully understand. And that always goes well. Okay. Ready to go? Mr. Wake, we're taking you back to our field office in Bright Falls. You can freshen up there, and then we'll talk properly. Hey, Mom. Before you say anything, I'm totally fine. Don't freak out. Dad shouldn't have even texted you. Logan? No one texted me. What's going on? I'm totally fine. I slipped. That's all. God, it's not the end of the world. Put your father on the phone. Um, okay. Dad, it's Mom. Don't worry, hun. Logan slipped in the shower and bumped her head. She has a slight concussion, but I'm keeping an eye on her. Lucky I heard her fall. She could have drowned. Jesus, David. Why didn't you call? I tried. It didn't go through. She's fine, really. But what about you? You sound stressed. No, it's, uh... Just a weird case, that's all. Well, if you need a hint, my years of board game victories tell me Colonel Mustard did it. <laughs> I'll, I'll keep an eye out for him. <laughs> Love you, Dave. Love you too, honey. Wanna say bye to Logan? Just tell her I love her. Bye for now.
Is there anyone you'd like us to reach out to, Mr. Wake? You've been gone a long time. No. No. If they'd be in danger, it'll come for me. Okay, let's talk about something else. Robert Nightingale. Do you know him? You were both here in 2010. The Dark Presence got him back then. That's the last time I saw him. 13 years. Oh, fuck me. Tell us about the pages. You had what looks like a title page with you. Return. Is this the name of the story on these pages? The writer's name has been scratched out pretty violently. But your name can still be made out underneath. <laughs> scratched out. Yeah. Scratch. Did you I, write these pages, Mr. Wake? I'm trying to remember. It's, it's, it's a crazy jumble, like a, like a nightmare. I, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense. I remember. I remember. with no memory of how I'd gotten there. It was out of control. I didn't need another mugshot in the front of that. to see you, Alan. Uh, uh, this must be an exciting time for you. Tell me, does it ever get old? Sorry, does what get old? Publishing a new book. Are you okay there, my friend? You look like you've been cooped up in the writer's room for a few too many years. <laughs> this is exactly how I feel. <laughs> you know, I've waited so long to get my hands on the sequel to Departure. You left us on quite the cliffhanger. We've all been dying to know what it's not a lake, it's an ocean really means. You and me both. Well, our wait is over. Your new book, Initiation, hits the shelves tomorrow. What? That's exactly what every reader will be asking. This book is mind-bending. It's so cerebral. I mean, how would you describe it? A an auto-fictional thought experiment? A, a, a horror story? A postmodern detective story? Wait. This isn't right. I, I haven't written anything. He's so humble. Okay. You got me. Good prank. Very funny. But yeah, I sad to say, I, I, I've not written this. I, I'd remember if I'd written a book, right? Or maybe it was written by your evil double. Well played, man. That is spot on. Playing the role here. Pretending the world of the book overlaps our own. That's very meta indeed. You see, Initiation tells the story of a fictional writer named Alan Wake, who is trapped in a nightmare, desperately trying to find the manuscript of a novel he has forgotten he has written. The book is set in New York, but it might not be New York at all. He is tormented by his dark, 
doppelganger and guided by visions of a fictional detective he has written. That's right. Alex Casey is in this book as well. Uh, I guess we'll just keep doing this the whole show. The joke's on me. But isn't that what you sign up for with auto fiction? No, but seriously, I found the, uh, the structure of the reality you build in the book fascinating. It reminded me of The Matrix. I mean, the writer is physically in his writer's room, trapped there, and he projects himself out to this dark dream of New York through the story he is writing. Uh, like astral projection. Did I get that right? Yeah, that's exactly right. Go on. I should be taking notes here. Uh, this is great stuff. Notes to that other Alan Wake in that room writing this as we speak? Are we all in your story, Alan? <laughs> wow. No, I, I, I wish you every success with your new book, Alan. I hope it's as successful as your best-selling Alex Casey series. Initiation hits the shelves tomorrow. After this, I'm sure we'll all be eagerly awaiting the culmination of this Hero's Journey trilogy of yours. A book called Return, perhaps. <laughs> Man, thank you for one of the strangest interviews of my entire career, Alan. <laughs> All this talk of meta narratives. I'm expecting to disappear once this scene ends. <gasps> Hello? I'm losing it. Something's not right here. I needed to get home. To Alice. What the hell was that interview? Some kind of joke? Initiation? I never wrote a book called Initiation. This felt like a bad dream. Could make a good horror story. Gods of Asgard. That name sounded familiar. I was a mess. I had never heard of this talk show or Mr. Door before. None of it felt right. Was I losing my mind? Something here. A broken transmission I couldn't quite make out. What was that? A message? Oh, impossible to say. I felt like a drowning man gasping for air. This place felt familiar. A ghost of a memory surfaced, about riding here for countless days. A plot board for mapping out a story. On the index cards, the nightmare that just happened to me. A summary of the story so far. But other notes as well. Warnings. I had written them. I couldn't remember what it all meant. The name Scratch filled me with dread. I could trust these words. I had to act on them. 
You must write to escape. I didn't remember much, but I knew my thoughts and ideas could manifest as reality in this dark place. I'd use my writing to project myself out of this room, like a deep sea diver to go deeper and explore the depths of this prison for a way out. This room was my boat. Writing was my lifeline. I would start again at the talk show. we have Alan Wake here, the best-selling writer the books, the films are based on. Let's do this! Welcome back to the show. So, Alan, as the uh, creator of the character, how do you feel about this? Sorry, what? I know it can be an awkward question with the man sitting right next to you, but I mean, how do you feel about him in the role of Casey? Does he look the part to you? Uh, <laughs> he looks exactly like I always imagined Casey to be. It's uncanny. Thank you. That means so much to me. I'm a huge fan of your books. So, uh, what's the problem, Alan? Because. On more than one occasion, you voiced your reservations about the adaptations. Uh, it's not that. They're their own thing. They've gone with choices that are different from mine. I, I, I feel protective about my stories, and these adaptations... I, I don't know. I, I guess I just wish I could have been more involved in making them. Well, in that case, you won't have seen this either. We have a clip from the new film, Murder Case Case. Should we roll it, or do you want to say something first, Sam? Nah, just roll it. This city was an old scar that refused to heal. The rain made it fester. It needed the sun, but there was only the night. I was tired. Insomnia covered me like a plastic film. I was watching the world through a rain-slick window, my own reflection haunting the view. I was trying to track down a missing writer. My only clue was a table lamp, shaped like an angel. The only thing that shed light on this sordid mystery. Great. Murder case, Casey. Great job, Sam. Very exciting and very meta. I'm looking forward to seeing more. Wait, stop. What was that about a writer? About a lamp?
Hello? Much evil that not a bit of good as well. Not one without the other. <laughs> good to see you. Hey, I, I can't seem to find my way out of here. Can you point me to the exit? <laughs> not not the helvetis. Of course, Tom. The work will instruct its maker. I was gonna get something from the basement for you, but you can get it yourself now. Uh, the more cooks, the worse the soup. <laughs> what do you want me to get from the basement? A and my name's Alan, not Tom. Yeah, yeah, but I got up a man's. A man, but a man with a tool makes two, Tom. Egoni. <laughs> and a man with a tool can build his own exit. It's in a shoebox in the basement where you left it. <laughs> Safe as in the Lord's purse. Here's the key. Have we met before? Are you trapped in the dark place too? You remember Arti, the janitor. You can't be lost if you don't worry about where you are headed. So don't worry, Tom. The sun will shine even into a heap of twigs. Just remember to turn on the lights. It won't take long when you get to work. I've been trying to find a way to escape the dark place. Any suggestions? He who mouths about his troubles is the prisoner of his troubles. It's not easy to get out. But don't you worry, Tom. The home is still there where the heart is. I often think about it when I mop the floor and look into the puddle. Water is the memory of the world. Water finds its way. The janitor was a bit out there, but still a friendly face. I had to trust the basement would get me out of here. lamp and a shoebox. Was this what the janitor had left for me? The lamp felt significant. A tool for bringing light to the darkness. I felt a magnetic pull between the lamp and the light over the Whoa! When the light jumped into my lab, the whole room changed, like something in a dream. Opening a way forward, the lamp was humming, the bulb glowed. It held the light now. I felt another surge from the lamp. I could use it again. The glow in the lamp went out, shifting the light in the room. The light carved out something new for the darkness. I needed to find another way out.
dark place wants to drown me. I'm losing myself. I have to fight it. I have to remember the clicker, the light switch. I lost it, but I have the lamp now. The lamp the switch was cut from. This place is a nightmare. Not real and yet more real than anything. The danger and the horror are real. It feeds off my mind, twisting whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I write to escape. I've tried this many times, written countless stories, forgotten how many. I keep failing, but I must keep trying. I use the story to dive deeper. Every word I write is a step forward on this spiral in the darkness. I dive to the bottom to find the answer, the, the map, and the key, and the compass. It's combined to form a door leading out. But how do you open a door that's not a door? At the bottom of an ocean that's not an ocean, and a lake that's not a lake. The payphone was ringing. Somehow I knew the call was for me. Hello? Hello, Wake? Yes. Do you know who I am? No. Who is this? We'll get to that later. There are spies all over. Shadows. A sense of deja vu washed over me. Had I had this conversation before? Helen, listen to me carefully. Caldera Street Station, the subway. You need to go there. I'll call you again later. Make sure to pick up. Do I know you? I, I know you from somewhere. You've just forgotten again. We're in this together. Don't worry. I got it now. We've been working. Great. I I'm losing you. Hello? Hello? The man had said Caldera Street Station. I had to go there. I had to find the subway station. Whatever it takes into psychotic reality. I'm trapped here. I run. 
Is this the way it was on the page? What the hell? Oh, hey. We met at Door's show. Alan Wake, the writer. I'm Alex Casey. I'm looking into a murder. Come on, what... What is this? There's a piece of evidence, a manuscript of a novel. You wouldn't know anything about it? A manuscript? What manuscript? I need to see it. Rumor had it the manuscript contained the details of the murders. A murder cult was following the story to commit their gruesome acts. Was Wake their leader? Had he written it? How far would he go to create a perfect work of art? Or would he be the next victim? Stay here. No, wait! I need a gun! No chance. was an echo of the books I had written for years. Picking up Casey's gun felt like I was assuming the role of the detective. I had a light now. I could use it to make my way deeper. There was something hidden here, a phrase repeated over and over. The words resonated with meeting. Had I written this? Darkness now, unless the shadows block my way. The shadows faded out until they didn't. They were trying to stop me. The gun flashed like a
Hello. Oh, hey, Alan. You snuck up on me. Sorry. Have we met? Memory problems again, huh? Yeah, we've met. Tim Breaker. We've shared notes. Hey, I've made some progress on the map, if you want to take a look. I still haven't found my mystery man, though. You're making a map? Trying to. It's hard to map a dream, though. I keep ending up in unexpected places. I find interesting things like those strange markings that react to the light, but never the one thing that I'm looking for. Feel free to check the map out. Oh, I've been stockpiling supplies while I poke around. If you find a stash, take anything you need. I appreciate the help. Who's this mystery man? Oh, it wouldn't be much of a mystery if I knew. All I have is a name. Warlandor. The talk show host? No. No, that doesn't sound like him. The guy has many disguises, but a talk show host? No. I'll keep looking. <laughs> well, that's my crazy wall. I'm just trying to make sense of things. Don't judge me. I'll trade you walls any day. See you around, Alan. written books about Alex Casey for years. Something lingered here. A line from a half-forgotten story.
shit! You lost them! The story will go on forever! Street station sign was there, but the entrance was missing. I had to make it appear. Maybe I could use the lamp to reveal the station entrance. The gates to the platform were closed. I had a ticket. Something about the station platform felt significant. It would work in my writing, but I needed more. Something lingered here. A half-forgotten memory. An echo. An FBI agent had come here before me on the trail of a murder cult. He'd gone missing. Presumed dead. The cult was leaving me clues to follow, connecting the dots from one murder to the next, inviting me to draw an obscene picture on the city map. Caldera Street Station. The name made me think of the exit wound of a bullet. I had a flash of inspiration. The ghost of my fictional detective. A story thread I could use in my writing. I had a location. I had a story. The dark place reacted to my story. The way into the tunnels was no longer blocked. The Fed had glimpsed into the Maw of Darkness. It swallowed him whole. The tracks led into the tunnel. That was my way forward. The blood trail continued deeper into darkness.
The tunnels were a maze. The blood trail led me on. Another place to use in this story. I needed to search the tunnels for further visions. Inspiration for the that changed the story. And with that, the dark place changed. Case. The cult can get you anywhere with that black magic shit. Let the day shift handle it. What happened, anyway? Some fed came looking for the cult, but it was a trap. A satanic blood sacrifice. Anyone who gets involved with the cult, they're next. I heard their leader is this famous writer, Alan Wake. Their unholy motherfucking messiah. Sounds like a load of bull. Another echo lingered here. A source of inspiration. Research is, your research can help me, ma'am. Word is, your research can help me, ma'am. What do you know? There's more than one urban legend about the cult of the word. The murder cult used these tunnels for their ritual sacrifices. They say the cult reenacted the murders in Alan Wake's crime books. That Wake was even involved somehow, under a false identity. Mr. Scratch, which is, of course, a nickname for the devil himself. It was disturbing finding myself in the story this way. But I was desperate, and it felt right for the story. plot element I found would drive the story forward. I was making my way deeper into the story. I could imagine this murder cult performing their macabre acts beyond the collapsed tunnel. The cultists laid the Casey novel onto the altar with reverence. Their twisted Bible. darkness. The water was gone. The way forward was open. Timbreaker, in case you don't remember again. 
I know, Tim. I'm remembering more now. It's good to hear, man. How's your search for Mr. Door going? It's not great. This dream we're in. Putting a lot of roadblocks in my way. So you think this is a dream? I'm not ruling it out. You know, my dreams have always been incredibly vivid. They feel real until the second I wake up. You know, the dreams... I'm often someone else, a different person with a different name, living a different life in, in a different world. Alternate realities, maybe. But certain things don't change. Like door. The sketch you have does look like the door I know, the talk show host. All I know is the door has something to do with what's happening to me. And he knows that I know. He's like some sadistic mastermind torturing me. The train blocked my way forward, but it was here for a reason. It had a role to play.
I had found another compelling location to use. The story thread felt right here. The cult poured the gasoline over the train car. An iron cage that would soon become a coffin. Anyone there? Dead. into a bit of a ghost story after that. They say the dark smoke from the fire still roams the tunnel searching for new victims to devour. There are no happy endings in this city. The story thread felt important. I could use it in one of the scenes I'd found. I had a new idea, a new story thread. Twisted story, but it worked. The subway car had become a burnt husk. I could get through it now. My path was blocked. I had to find a way through. The lights would help me.
The Echoing Hall had a story to tell. I had a new idea for a scene. into the murder cult's hideout. The cultists were close now, a dark presence rising from the depths. or the mass psychosis of stark raving lunatics. It didn't change the facts. The cult was messing with things no one should mess with. The ritual was a vital part of the story, the key to reaching the murder site. I had a new beat for the story.
only ones using the tunnels. Hidden graffiti signs mark secret routes. I kept hearing whispers around the burn barrel. Underground society of knowledge. Typical New York. This new plot beat would carry me deeper into the story. presence. It was gone. The tunnel was open now. I could get through. Before. I remembered now. It was always out there, haunting me.
I had found the murder site. Somehow the victim's heart was the key. Trapped here. The dark place. Under Cauldron Lake. Not Cauldron Lake. Who are you? I'm trying to escape. I'm making progress, but I'm in danger. The dark presence. Help me. Please, help me. I could sense it. I was closer to home. Had the woman in the vision helped me somehow? Something had changed outside Parliament Tower, where I had lived with Alice. It was out there, waiting for me. writing who? Who was writing this poem? Me? No. Stepping to the murder site, I'd felt it hanging in the air. The meaning, the violent emotion of the act. Like a cloud of wrath, the dead eyes of the victim staring at something you couldn't see, and yet making you aware of it. Something had soaked into this place on a molecular level, overlapping with your meaningless existence. Regression to something you had managed to forget, marking you, taking you for a ride. Making you crazier. had changed. I was closer now. Parliament Tower. Our home in New York. Was I really this close to being home? Going up to our apartment? Would I be home? Or was this just an echo of the real thing? Even then, the murder site had brought me one step closer to escape. The payphone at the edge of the plaza was ringing again. Helping me. Did you go deeper to the overlap? Are you talking about the murder site? Yeah, I, I did. I, I. That's fantastic, Alan. We're closer to getting out. We're making progress. Well, we would be if you would answer my damn questions. Last time we spoke, you were pretty worried about Alice. 
Did you ever check Parliament Tower? To make sure she really got out of the dark place? Well, of course she got out. That's why I'm here. That's the whole goddamn point. Be very careful, Alan. The dark presence is stealing from you. It can already manifest as your double. Scratch will come. Wait, wait, hello? monster behind it all. Either way, Alice Wake, his ex, she knew things. It was there in her art for all to see. A cry for help. The darkness she'd witnessed. And that put her in danger. Was Alice here? In the story? Alice's photo. Get out! Leave me alone! Alice! Alice! Alice. This is a photo of Scratch. How did Alice get this? Is he stalking her? This is the door to my study, where I wrote my books. The symbol wasn't here before. Alice's video camera. No memory card inside. Alice's memory card. I do. 
confused too sometimes. About six years ago, I started hearing noises in the night. Typewriter keys clacking. Voices. Alan was back. Haunting me. Then it got violent. It was Alan. And yet, it was a monster. He always did have anger in him. I set up cameras around the apartment with motion sensors and flashes. Now, when the monster comes, I turn it into art. My nightmares caught on film. And this is the focus of my new exhibition. To show people the world is so much darker than they ever knew. I'm calling this exhibit The Dark Place. Alice. Scratch was terrorizing her. I sat in the writer's room and wrote a story, initiation, to project myself through the dark place to look for a way out. The story had brought me here, brought me nowhere, loped me back. I was writing the story, and in the story I now stepped into the writer's room. But there was no one here writing. Okay, let's recap what you've told us so far, Ellen. For the past 13 years, you've been trapped in a nightmare dimension called the Dark Place. Yeah. It's like New York, but it's not New York. And can be reached from the bottom of Cauldron Lake, but it's not really under the lake. And after all this time, you've managed to get out. Yeah, yeah. But so has your evil doppelganger. Mr. Scratch? Or is it the Dark Presence? Both. It's interchangeable. He's Scratch when he looks like me, but he can change into this other form. And Scratch, the Dark Presence, wants to rewrite the world in his own image. Which would be in your image, as he looks just like you. And turn the world into a fucking nightmare. During Deerfest, which is scheduled to take place in a couple of days. You got out of the Dark Place by writing a novel, The Pages We've Been Finding. 
but your double edited it into a horror story that's now changing reality, taking over people, yeah. making them crazy, bringing the dark place to Bright Falls. Yes, fiction coming in contact with the dark place can change reality. The story is coming true, soaking into everything, like, like, like darkness when, it, when night falls. But last time... It... This will be back in 2010. Yes, last time it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. And that dark presence was still bound to the lake. I stopped it before it got the ending it wanted. Before it broke free. Based on that, there's still time. Which brings us to your magical light switch. The clicker. Magical doesn't quite cover it. Scratch wants it to bring about his ending. That, that can't happen. If I can get the clicker, I, I can send him back to the dark place, make all this shit go away. I... Look, I know it's batshit crazy. My memory is it's full of holes, and I, I'm not sure how much I can trust. It, it's like it's like it's like a half-forgotten dream. Mr. Wake, Alan. We've seen our share of batshit crazy in the past 24 hours. What I want to know is, why am I? Why are we written into the story? I think I saw you. Or a vision of you in the dark place. I think you helped me reach out and escape somehow. With that in the story, Scratch would have edited it to get to you. To hurt you. We are all in danger. It's insane. And there's so much of it. Have you ever heard of the cult of the tree? Creepy bunch. In the habit of wearing deer masks, performing murder rituals, victims turning into monsters possessed by darkness, possibly inspired by a horror story written by a certain author. Hmm? Ring any bells? The cult. Yes. Yes. They have the clicker. If the cult has the clicker, does that make them Scratch's followers? How are you so certain they even have the clicker? They could be working for Scratch. I, I don't remember. It's all confused. Alan, if I'm going to act on this information, you need to be honest with me. Yeah, of course. Is he confused? Or is he hiding something? Wake said the cult has the clicker. How does he know? The writer is the reader. The next chapter, the next chapter, the next chapter. Keep the pages safe, the dark shining of the words. Wake is hiding pages. That's how he knows the cult has the clicker. Wake has a double, Mr. Scratch. Where is he now? A cloud of wrath wears my face. The dark place in your place. Scratching out my body of work. Scratch is here. In Washington. He's hunting Wake. Scratch looks just like Wake. Why? Don't wake up the dreamer if your life is a dream. I swam to the shore, but the water is rising. Wake and Scratch are clearly connected. Maybe Scratch got out because Wake did. Or vice versa.
Wake just gave us a lot of information. But this clicker seems like a good place to start. If we find that, then we find the cult. The pages we've been finding are from a horror story called Return, written by Alan Wake. And the contents of this book are coming true. Why couldn't it have been a romance? Last time, it didn't happen all at once. The story came true bit by bit as it unfolded. Okay, Mr. Wake, I know you have more pages of the manuscript on you. You don't understand how vital these pages are. They're the only way I can know what's coming. You're not the only one trying to solve this. This is our job. Okay. Here. Now, this is all I have. Be careful with them. Inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. A cultist stared at her. She drew her weapon. Standing inside the trailer, at the outskirts of Watery, Saga had seen Wake's fabled clicker for the first time, in the hands of the Cult of the Tree. Her mind reeled from what the horror story was now claiming about her, her life, her past. She didn't accept it. She stepped out of the trailer. She needed air, but she wasn't alone. A cultist stared at her from behind a deer mask. She drew a weapon, shouted, ran after him.
The cult of the tree has the clicker Wake told me about. They're a part of all this. It's all on the page. The clicker, the cult. Okay, I'll head to Watery and find this trailer. Casey, you stay here and keep an eye on Mr. Wake. Got it. No, you need me there. No dice, pal. This is an FBI investigation, and I don't see a badge on that flannel. presence had stopped me. I had seen the title page of another manuscript. Return. I didn't remember writing it, but it felt familiar. Important. I had to find it. draft of initiation to reach Parliament Tower using another murder site. Scratch was reaching out from the dark place to get Alice. She was out, but still in danger. Forgotten. I knew how this worked now. I could take control, no more surprises. Together with our house man, the divine old gods of Asgard, we have created something special. But I like to call this next segment the story of the journey of Alan Wake, the musical. Just do what we always do. We'll chat, but instead of talking, we'll sing it!
Finally. And the award goes to... Alan White! Really? It was all too much, I had to get away. There is more to it than meets the eye I never meant for it to ruin my life that way You just say you let the jaded lie Dark shades could never save the day So sad But true
That was pretty good. A vision. Champion of flight. It was all about me. This performance the Dark Place was putting on. But I had no control over it. I knew how utterly lost I was. The payphone was ringing again. The mystery caller was back at it. I... Alan Wake? Do you know who I am? How the fuck could I? Whoa! There's that famous temper. Lucky thing I'm not a paparazzi. You keep jerking me around, refusing to tell me who you are. You remember? You... Oh, fuck me. Alan, 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 listen, listen. Uh, tell me, how much do you remember? Did you visit Parliament Tower? Did you find anything there? Yeah. Alice is in danger. Scratch is reaching out to her, and there, there's another manuscript. Not initiation, return. I saw the title page. I, I don't remember writing it. Return? Oh, man, this is what we're after. The Scratch can't have it. Our, our survival, the survival of the fucking cosmic everything depends on this. Come to me. Ocean View Hotel. I left my room key for you. It's right there on the payphone. Remember? The dark place works in loops and rituals. If the waves keep pushing you away, you just need to find another way in. We go with the flow of this ocean. Catch you soon, brother. The Ocean View Hotel. A suspicious invitation to a shady meeting. 
Right on the money for the hard-boiled genre the whole city was built upon. The Ocean View Hotel, my destination. You wrote these pages in the dark place. So why are we finding them here? I think I wrote them. I remember writing an endless amount of pages. When this happened before, the, the pages were being sent from the dark place to help me. Maybe the same thing is happening here. That's all for now, Mr. Wake. Thank you for your cooperation. Makes sense.
Hi, welcome. Okay, past favorite Deerfest floats. Go. The yarn puppet monstrosity. The stuffed moose and squirrels one. No, thank you. Those beady dead marble eyes still give me nightmares. Hello, and welcome to Coffee World, voted Washington's best coffee-themed amusement park. All of our attractions are family-friendly and available to children of all ages, just like our coffee. So, take a sip of our Oh Dear Diner organic coffee and let the adventure begin! Hold on for dear life on the Espresso Express! Oh! Soak in some local history at the Huatari Well, where two serial killers once hid the disemboweled bodies of their murder victims. Uh, it's not a haunted. No. <laughs> Come join Mocha Moose and the goats at our amusement park petting zoo. Just don't share your coffee with the goats. <laughs> Seriously, stop feeding our goats coffee. Seriously. It's not a moose. Take in amazing views from the slow roaster Ferris wheel. I can almost see the watery lighthouse trailer park. This is so much fun. And finish off at our beautiful gift shop where seniors and children under 10 receive a 9% discount on keychains and propane tanks. Welcome to Coffee World. We guarantee you'll jaw a great time. This is the third time I've requested something be done about the TV in my room. It keeps going on by itself. It's keeping me awake all night. Yes, sir, I'm terribly sorry for that. Uh, we've called a professional electrician. In the meantime, have you tried unplugging the TV for the night? Oh, oh, there's an idea, Einstein. Well, 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 why, why don't I just get rid of everything I'm paying for in that room while I'm at it? Sleep on the floor. to a cool guy's house to drink some brewskis. Are you coming? No, Ilmo. I'm very busy wearing a turtleneck and drinking wine like an asshole. Oh dear, I know what Yako needs. I'm a beer to the rescue. Bring out your inner Wolverine with I'm a beer. Wow, this is the best party ever. Thanks, Alma Beer. Alma Beer is a traditional Finnish lager, and we drink it the Finnish way. At the bar while actively avoiding small talk with strangers. Getting blackout drunk on a boat during midsummer and trying not to drown. In the sauna, using your beer can to hide your pippeli from wandering eyes. Partaking in the Finnish tradition of Kalsarikennit, drinking at home alone in your underwear with no intentions of going out. It's not sad if it's intentional. Alma Beer, your Finnish drinking adventure starts here.
Yeah, Anderson, I, I didn't want to say this in front of Wake, but... Are you sure this is a good idea? Going on your own? Assuming we believe the page, I need to check this out. We need to find the cult. Anyone we meet here could be a member. And this scratch guy... The evil doppelganger? It must be true, or else this guy can't write for shit. The quality of his writing aside, if this page turns out to be true like the rest have, this could be a breakthrough. We might solve this thing before a backup even arrives. I mean, they're taking their time, so just be careful out there. Meanwhile, I think me and Wake will have a chat. Maybe I can shake something loose. Okay. But remember what happened with the salt shaker. <laughs> yeah, yeah, real funny. The page placed me in a trailer somewhere in Watery. I should ask around. A vote for Mayor Setter is a vote for everyone. For watering. Mayor Seta will stand up for justice. Hello. Do you have a second? Ah, long time and no see, Miss Anderson. Uh, Tor and Odin are not here. They are uh, old tricksters always sneaking off. Sorry, no, I, I wanted to ask you about something else. Can you point me to any trailers around here? Sure. Watery Lighthouse Trailer Park. Ilmo Koskel owns it. He owns many things in town. And where is Ilmo? I saw Ilmo and his brother at the bridge. Well, what used to be the bridge. Do you live around here? I live in Bright Falls. You've seen me around. I am Mr. Blum. You call me Vladimir. I work at the nursing home. I take care of your old people. We are on day trip, music, sauna, the good times. I bring them here in the bus. The elderly are very important. And it's a very nice bus. Thanks. Hey, how's it going? Okay then. Catch you soon. I wonder if I'm the first FBI agent to ever get shushed.
such a shame. Oh, you rascal. What have you been up to this time around? There's only so many times I can keep fixing the same hole. Watery's definitely quaint. I bet they have good fish here. Gone. Hey, where's the time gone? There's just a wretched husk to what used to be me. Hey, what did you used to say your dream job was as a kid? I bet it wasn't dock worker. I don't know about all that, but idle hands are the devil's playground, so... That's fishing. The flooding is even worse here. More like underwatery. I'll have to tell Casey that one later. Enjoy your day. Mom's family was from Sweden. I've always imagined it kind of like this. Saunas, lakes. Seems nice. Enjoying the sauna? You bet. The steam is amazing on my creaky old joints. I'm just waiting for Ati to wrap up his show so we can crack open some beers. I've read that taking a sauna is good for preventing dementia. Yeah, and so is beer. Ever heard of the cult of the tree? The half-deer, half-man monsters? Oh, sure I've heard of them. They're the reason I can't risk taking walks in the forest anymore. If one of them shows up, how am I supposed to get away? I can't run with a bad hip. I'd be killed for sure. I could maybe use my crutches to defend myself. Do you think that'd work? You're the professional. Probably smart just to stay in the sauna for now. Hey, Sava, a sauna doesn't fix what ails ya. You're a goner. They also say silence is golden. Whew. Hot. Saga! Over here! Hey, Ilmo. How did your walk in the woods with Steven go? 
another satisfied customer. I just hope he remembers to write a good review on the webpage. Great to see you back in Watery Saga. Everyone in town missed you. <laughs> Super nice to see you again, Saga. They act like they've known me for years. This keeps happening. You own the trailer park, right? Mind if I take a look inside? Uh, uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure the owner of the Watery Lighthouse trailer park, me, can help you with that. It's good to have our funniest resident back. Resident? I don't understand what you mean. If this is your way of getting out of any outstanding bills, don't worry. They've been handled. Must be hard coming back to where you and your little girl lived. It's like they remember a different reality. Is the horror story messing with their memories? Ilmo made it sound like I lived here. Does he really believe that? Light, laughter, and love will guide you home. Saga and her daughter. Oh boy. Happy faces raise property value. Family comes first, Ilmo. We take care of her trailer while she's gone. She's one of us, Yako. Her spare key is safe and sound. The Koskala brothers have happy memories of me living here. This must be the story affecting them. I'll play along for now. I need the key to that trailer. Are you familiar with the cult of the tree? Yeah, we always thought it was an urban legend. Kids drawing creepy symbols to scare each other, but uh, now it's gotten pretty damn real, huh? It's terrible what happened. We're all in shock. Well, we're looking into it, hoping to get things back to normal soon. We're all for that. <laughs> as normal as it ever gets around here. All joking aside, yes, I would like to see my trailer. Do you have a spare set of keys? Good for you. Yeah, I have a spare set. They're just over at Coffee World. I'd get them for you, but Yaku and I have to head to Bright Falls. The spare keys are in the gift shop safe. I'll call ahead and uh, have someone get them out for you. Oh, the road's flooded, but if you just follow this trail behind me, it'll lead you there. Call the gift shop so they can give Saga a hand. Yep. Nothing? What am I paying them for? Guess they're busy. There's Coffee World. Well, Need to get across the river.
people turning into Taken. Is this the cult? Or the story? Or both? Another rhyme. Sure. Oh, shit. This is ridiculous. A charm. There's another cult stash. What had kept Watery afloat all these years? A century, if not more. The locals knew the answer. Grit. Or as they put it in the language of their Finnish forefathers, Sisu. These days, Sisu was need more than ever. The town was fading. It never quite recovered from the lumber mill shutting its doors. Now the fishing was drying up as well. Most people had left to find jobs in other towns. Only the most tenacious stubbornly remained. Dug in. Parasites in the body of a terminal patient. Sisu. Some people tried to resuscitate the town. The Koskala brothers double-handedly warded off the impending darkness with their ventures. Coffee World brought tourists, money, and jobs. Coffee-themed fun for all ages. The Kalavala Knights Motorcycle Club built parade floats. The bikers repaired vehicles and volunteered locally. But it wouldn't be enough. Watery needed a miracle. The end of the road was in sight. That was coming fast. Elmo thinks the cult is just an urban legend. Or does he? There are things that go bump in the night. It's all true. It's all true. Sound the alarm, brother. Gather the troops, brother. Yako, the shadow of the forest is creeping closer. They don't think it's an urban legend at all. They understand it's dangerous. Wakes says a story will change reality around us. If that's true, then I need to know what's real and what's fiction.
Think. No. Another one of those cult boxes. Saga was beginning to see why Casey disliked the woods so much. They felt oppressive here. Too many places to hide. The distorted carnival music drifting from the amusement park ahead did not help. What the Koskalis had said about her living in Watery with Logan unsettled her. For the horror story to involve her was one thing, but involving her daughter was crossing a line. Something darted across the path ahead. Too fast to see. Saga drew a weapon. Her eyes searched the woods, a noise overhead. Saga swiveled to look, a local, a man on the ridge above her. No, not a man, a monster with a hatchet in each hand. It shouted down at her. Hunting season was a bust.
More of those rhymes. I can use this charm on my bracelet. There's another lunchbox.
Another one of those lunch boxes. Scratch stalked through the forest, a terrifying dark presence in the night, more sensed than seen. Darkness boiled in his skull, like a storm cloud crammed into a bottle. The woods were alive with those he had taken. They were coming with him, directed by him, his army of darkness. His singular purpose was a sharp, pulsing black hole in his head, waves roaring out of it to whip his flock into a frenzy. Filling them with his purpose. The clicker. He wanted it. To make his horrific ending to the story come true. The art was there. The clicker would push it across the final threshold. A detonator to send out a tidal wave that would spread to overtake reality. He was so close to claiming it. The Taken gibbered and shouted. Straining against their invisible leashes. Filled with bloodlust. Scratch let them go. They launched themselves into the night with violent glee. He ripped a signpost from the ground, swung it in his hands as if it was made of air. Ahead, the music started. It called him. It called him on. Let the final deer fence commence. Hello? Anyone here? Nope. Did they get out? Did the Taken get them? Or were they turned into Taken? I'll need to get the key to the trailer park myself. Ilmo said the key is kept in the gift shop safe. stash. Jimmy it open with a list of maintenance work. A screwdriver. Huh.
coffee world. The most caffeinated place on Earth. And yet nobody's here to help me get that key. Using screwdrivers to break into gift shops isn't exactly standard procedure. Jesus! Calm down, Sawgoth. It's just a pot of coffee. Have a beautiful day! Shop open.
Now where is that safe? Sorry, we're at a Bright Falls blend, Anna apologized to the customers. I'll just grab some from the back. More coffee coming right up. She suggested they ride the percolator while they waited. She passed Ilmo at the Espresso Express. Big smile, Anna. Coffee world is all smiles. Anna nodded, smiled. She smiled until her face hurt. Anna stopped walking, realized she was standing next to the Huatari well. Must have zoned out, she thought. She was about to go, but something in the well caught her eye. A shadow shifting in the dark. Anna was overcome by vertigo. The world tilted, and then she was falling down, down, down into the shaft. The darkness opened up to swallow her. Locked. Okay. What would Ilmo use for a code? Coffee World staff. Hope they're not all monsters now. The photos have stickers on them. The keys to my trailer. Now to find the clicker and the colt. Must be locked from the other side.
I need to open the safe. What's the combination? People hate the puzzle, Zuma. Why not just use keys? People love the puzzles, Yaku. Only very smart people can think up good puzzles. Just look around and you will find the answer. Dedicated staff will be rewarded. The combination to the safe is somewhere in the gift shop. That's it. Cauldron Lake General... <laughs> Another Alex Casey lunchbox? Saga had lost count of how many shots she'd fired. But she was sure it must have been more than she had in her magazine. And yet, she'd not run out of ammo. As if the magazine had grown to fit more bullets, she fired again. Page said I'd run into a cultist here. On your toes, Saga.
It's in the rain. Must not drink the water. Or take a bath. Ever again. Moonshine. Oh. Only drink the moonshine, oh. brother. Ah. <laughs> Don't look like cultists. That's not helping. Mm -hmm. I don't feel like myself. Don't know how to fight it. We're too old. Excuse me. I'm looking for the Anderson trailer. Right on time. Like we were just saying, it's not true. The lies to hurt you and make you weak. Don't believe a word. They believe because deep down, they want to be told what to think. We're different. Rebels! You must stop it before it turns real. Don't be part of the story. Make the story. <laughs> Stop the hell of it! <laughs> These old drunks don't seem affected by the horror story like the other locals are. Do they know what's happening here? How do you know about the story? Same as you, of course, sweetie pie. We are family. The Andersons! Vikings! Gods! It's so good to finally see you, Saga. I am your great uncle Odin, and this is your long lost Murfar, Thor! Sarasol. He is your grandfather, and I am the old father. <laughs> Just as crazy as everyone else. Just as caught in it. I need to stay focused. I need to check out the trailer. You have things to do, sweetie pie. We don't want to keep you from your business. You can come see us anytime at our resting place. More of those kids' lunch boxes. Your name is Anderson? Same as you, kiddo. Thor Anderson, Odin Anderson, the old gods of Asgard. That's our band. You're... You are Saga Anderson, goddammit. A Viking goddess. <laughs> I like the sound of that. Thor, Odin, Saga. All Norse-inspired. Plus the same last name. A coincidence? Did the horror story change their names to match mine? So, do you know where the Anderson trailer is? Right behind us. We've been looking after it since you left. Uh-huh. Thanks for your help. Anytime, kiddo. Have you seen any strange people in deer masks? I haven't drunk enough for that yet. You can see all sorts of wonderful things when you make your way down the bottle. Even more so with just one eye. Okay, never mind. It looks like you two have had a bit too much fun. She sees right through us, bro. She has the power. This calls for a fucking celebration. Our little saga all grown up and finally home. Sure, we've had a few sips, just a taste, 
the famous Anderson Moonshine. Oh, the nectar of the gods. You want some? No, thanks. Hello, Yako. Who is this incredibly attractive martial arts master? It's me, your brother, Ilmo. I now recognize you, but Ilmo, why are you dressed like that? Deerfest is almost here, which means we're <laughs> chopping the prices on all of our custom-designed Deerfest parade floats. Floats created by the award-winning team at Kalevala Knights Motorcycle Club, winners of last year's trophy for best Deerfest float featuring an animal that is not deer. That very team. And you're gonna get a kick <laughs> out of our latest float designs. <laughs> We've done it all. Deerfest floats, restaurant floats, floats shaped like things we can't show on television. Mm. Our floats are the best way to impress your friends, propose to your partner, or throw shade at an office colleague. And we don't do just Deerfest. Our floats are a perfect gift for weddings, birthdays, or mitzvahs, or your Gonna Our floats will punch up any special occasion. <laughs> but why take our word for it? Let's hear it from one of our many, many happy customers. I was at Deerfest last year. The floats were pretty good. One of them was a swan. And that was stuff people liked it. And there you have it. Award-winning floats now at reduced prices that will Knock you off your feet! Yeah! Order yours today! That's a good deer. Oh, fucking hell. What time is it? Gotta head back to the bus soon, brother. Rusty. He's fixing to leave us behind. Ah, we got time. One wants to stay on our good side. Reeks of booze. A pun book from Ilmo. Are we close in the story? That might explain some of his behavior. Did I leave the Bureau in this fictional reality? Addressed to me from years ago. Wake was right. The horror story is changing reality, not just people's memories. This card has mom's handwriting. Everything here reminds me of Logan. This could be her room. This is getting too real. Too personal.
My newfound relatives. Cozy with the cult of the tree. And that's the clicker. In the hands of the cult, just like the page promised. Carlyvala Knights. That's the motorcycle club the Costello brothers are in. I'll take Odin and Tor up on their offer and visit their nursing home. Right after I find this biker workshop. No. It's, it's not true. It's just a fucking story. It's not true. Logan's back home. She's fine. Fuck. She's at school. David. I'm in the story and it's coming true. Wake said Scratch would try and hurt me with the horror story. But he said there's still time to stop this. That he can stop this with a clicker. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David? Is Logan okay? Call me back as soon... Mulligan is a cultist? What the fuck is going on here? Thornton too? God damn it. And now they're all done? The headline about Logan wasn't real. Don't think about it. The cult has the clicker. Get it? Fix this. Another lunchbox. Welcome back, and boy, do we have some breaking news that's sure to knock your socks off. Davis family. Our favorite sponsor, Davis Family Beef Jerky. And now we enjoy his teriyaki and hickory teriyaki. I handed out samples here in the Valley I need something to cut this. This is the workshop from the photo with the cultists. This is where they had the clicker. If it's still here, I need to find it.
stop right there. The shape stumbled out of the dark toward Deputy Mulligan. Thornton was doubled over, coughing. A chunk of cold pastrami caught in his throat. Bring it, fucker. Mulligan fired. Thornton hacked the pastrami out of his windpipe, opened fire with his partner. The monster fell. They kept shooting. The thrill of domination. This was the cult of the tree. Not one tree. A forest. Secret knowledge in a deer mask. A last line of defense. yippee ki motherfucker. Bright Falls fucking finest. They crept over, pulling out their flashlights. The horror. This is Monica from the tackle shop. An innocent woman. Thornton's pastrami came back up. <clears throat> no, Logan's not dead. Mulligan and Thornton have the clicker. It's in another overlap. Here in Watery.
Locked. They must be in there. There has to be a way to get this lock open. This is the cult's hideout. Their headquarters, even? Basement. The cult is leaving supplies around for themselves. This will be handy. That's it. This is the cult's process. Their ritual. The cult isn't well organized. People aren't following orders. The Nightingale ritual wasn't completed. Fuse could come in handy. Saga strained to pull the string of the crossbow back as far as she could. To her surprise, the latch adjusted to accommodate her. The next bolt would stop a monster. Creepy basement. Shit. Hey, we freeze. Watch it. That's the clicker. <laughs> no, they took it. They're playing with me. I was so close. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker, left this monster here to stop her. There's an overlap here, like there was at Cauldron Lake. Mulligan and Thornton are like Nightingale. Inside, waiting, and a parade float is the key. Saga had read about it. The trap. She knew what was waiting for her. The moment she saw the giant, she knew she wasn't ready. You let Logan drown. The weapon it carried could crack her skull like a brittle egg. Brains leaking out like yolk. Everything she loved, lost. Everything she was, lost. We will watch it eat your mind. Reading this made her sick. But the fear was sharp when she faced it. There was another overlap here in Watery. The parade float was the key. Mulligan and Thornton had gone there, taken the clicker with them, left this monster here to stop her. Mulligan and Thornton were fine earlier. How did this happen? A terrible mistake. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Shadows on their faces, filling the shape of them. 
Bright Falls fucking finest. Shitty pastrami sandwich. Mulligan and Thornton became like Nightingale. Mulligan and Thornton are members of the cult. Who's the leader? Brains leaking out like ilk. The thrill of domination. Not one tree. A forest. The word. A secret like this or doesn't die. There is more than one leader. A taken is upstairs. This was a trap. Parade float. Is this the parade float the page mentioned? The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. At Cauldron Lake, giving the poem and the heart to the witch sign, open the overlap. Here, it's the parade float. But it's incomplete. Ilmo stood in front of the parade float, turned dramatically to his crew. Now, imagine the murderer's arms moving. Stab, 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 and then Naki laughing. Everyone at Deerfest always plays it safe, not us. This monument to Watery's history, this work of art will sweep this year's awards. The overlap formed around Watery's dark past. The ritual to enter was tied to crafting the float. Art was the key. It had the power to let Saga in. This is one disturbing parade float. I don't hear any haunting laughter. Not sure what Puko means, but it looks like the knife is missing. How come one of them is wearing a mask and the other isn't? Stabbing, again and again. That must mean the arm's supposed to move. So this is the Coscula Brothers parade float. Looks like only four pieces are missing. The mask is the only one without a location listed. Hmm. Gift shop. Easy. I can't make out what it says. Espresso Express. Got it. Fair trade fun zone.
Oh. Is missing a soundtrack? <clears throat> Should the characters be moving? The float killer isn't wearing a mask. The float killer used a knife. Art? Imitating life? I figured out what the float is missing. The materials listed for the parade float mention a mask. Where is it? Poor Mocha Moose. He never failed to amuse me. No, we know, Ilmo. There is such a thing as too much coffee. Mocha will live on in a place of honor. He lost his head. Mulligan and Thornton had one job. Mulligan and Thornton must know where the Moose Skull mask is. is missing. Where is it? The dead brought back to life. The crown of the Grand Master. Moose steak is never a mistake. Just get it fucking done. They know where it is. I know they know. Where is the mask? Go ahead and bleach it. We all bow to him. The mark of the crumbling will Show the bitch who's wrong! The moose mask is at the Huatari well, in Coffee World. saw something. Like I did in Cauldron Lake. The well, here in Coffee World. I know the Moose Skull will be there. Now I need to bring the mask to the float. Moose Skull goes here, obviously. Thank God.
I guess a toy knife will do. Fuse is missing. Can't operate the ride without it. There we go. Now I just need to stop it in a position that will let me get to that circuit board down there. of Monica Thompson was a terrible mistake. Thornton blamed Mulligan's itchy trigger finger. Mulligan blamed Thornton's shitty pastrami sandwich. They only agreed it wasn't their fault. No one will find her corpse. We'll hide it. They fed the body to the maw of a crumbling well, like the murderous Huatari brothers did long ago. They lied to everyone. The word would never get out. But a secret like this doesn't die. It grew inside them. Like cancer, the darkness taking over, filling the shape of them. The moose mask appeared on the well.
A little something to get those arms moving. There's your knife. Some creepy laughing for atmosphere. Okay, Saga. Let's get the clicker from these assholes. Mulligan and Thornton in the wreckage of the morgue. Shadows on their faces. Thornton did his best woman's voice. I'm a stuck-up FBI bitch. I'll make a big fucking mess and get these dumb backwater cops to clean it up. Thornton turned to his partner. These government motherfuckers. Next time, Mulligan, I'll tell her. You got no clue. You let your own kid drown. You're a fucking fraud. Mulligan leered. Pinning the murder on the bookers would have fixed this whole goddamn mess. But their kind always sticks together. I reckon we should show the bitch who's boss, Thornton. Shadows crept over Mulligan and Thornton. Inside them, they grinned. story is trying to take Logan. I can still stop this. I need the clicker. Anderson, the trick. He has it now. Wake? I saw him this way in the other overlap. It's a loop. Just like before. that I need to look for another way through
that mean? I've been tricked. Scratch room. I tried to fix the story, but has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? You're already out. So is Scratch. Silk. Scratch is making progress. I wrote to be the story's hero. Save her family. Save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes, 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 you know it's working. You just need to keep going. 
Did you put my family in the horror story? I keep seeing him in overlaps, but he's already out. Are these visions coming from the past? When he was still trapped in the dark place? I have the clicker. I can stop this nightmare. Wake said he could use the clicker to undo the horror story. I need to get back to Bright Falls, to Casey and Wake. I should check in with Casey. Come on, Casey. No answer. David. Pick up, pick up, pick up. Hey, this is David. Leave a message. David, can you call me back, please? It's urgent. Please. Why isn't David answering? Is Logan all right? How does this all work? Has a horror story already gotten her? Wake should know. I need something to cut this. Another cult box. Must be locked from the other side. something special for Deerfest. Tell us about that. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm crafting a selection of custom base wood clocks, but for real special song.
Another rhyme. Sure. Oh, damn. I'm getting quite the charm collection. I need to get the clicker to wake and close this damn case before my family gets dragged any further into it.
Well, now there's less monsters. in Bright Falls. And now, I just want to clear something up from our last broadcast. There was some talk, an off-color joke of sorts, about Wendy Davis of Davis Family Beef Jerky being dead, which, of course, is a bunch of hogwash. So I'm going to give our dear friend Wendy a call so we can put an end to this. Another locked box. need to find the key. Another one of those rhymes. Okay, okay.
There's another lunchbox. I'm gonna need a bigger charm bracelet. There's a rhyme over here. Sure. What the hell? Another charm.
on greener pastures now. Another rhyme. Nope. Makes sense. charm. Perfect for my bracelet.
Hello. More of those rhymes. Lots of charms lying around here. There's another cult stash.
Well, at least the flooding's gone down. <laughs> yeah, but the fish aren't biting any better. Quite the show that Artie fella put on today, eh? I loved it. I had half of it. Sure can get loud, huh? I don't mind it. What happened to uh, grab life's gifts while you can? Alan Wake. <laughs> My name comes up, your books come up, you come up. I've read them. There are echoes of my life in there that makes me feel like someone's been watching me. What happened to Alan Wake? The unanswered mystery. Never expected to find you alive. Ah, oh, my head's killing me. I think you like using people, Wake. Taking their lives and twisting them into your stories. And when someone gets hurt, it's kick-ass material for the next one. Shit! Spilled my coffee. <clears throat> Take it you're not a fan, then. Agent Casey. This is not your playground, and I'm not your fucking creation. It doesn't work that way. You can't make something out of nothing, even in the dark place where the... Rules hardly apply. It's very complicated to make fiction come true. I saw visions of what's happening. What will happen? Dreams. I try to use them in my writing. I understand how dangerous it is now. Even with a paralyzing amount of planning. I think I stopped writing. I think I gave up. But there's a manuscript. Maybe I forgot not to write. The dark place makes you forget. I just want to fix this. Find a version of the story that fixes everything. Shut up! Get down! We want the rider! No one else needs to get hurt! Fuck off! Shit! Hey! What are you doing? Scratch! He's close! Stay down! Wait! I need a gun! No chance. FBI!
I had escaped the dark place, so had the dark presence. Scratch. He was here, in Bright Falls. I could feel him as a growing pressure in my head, stronger by the minute. Why didn't he kill me with the rest? What did he want? I needed to find Casey. We were on the same side in this fight. Strength in numbers. I've got a flashlight. How nostalgic. That's Casey. He was still alive. be taken or did the dark presence not discriminate the pressure in my head was unbearable scratch was getting closer stronger than ever Look out! It's him! Scratch it! The pressure eased off. Scratch was further away. I could think again. Casey! Casey, I'm coming! Fuck. Estevez, Federal Bureau of Control. We'll take it from here. Out cold. Wait. This is my case. This is no longer an FBI investigation. The case has been transferred to us. This is bullshit. Noted. We're moving the evidence and paperwork from your field office to our base of operation at the sheriff's station. Any other pieces of evidence with you? Anything relevant? The clicker. I can't trust them with it. Nothing comes to mind. Okay. Then your work here is done. Hey. You did well. Wait. My partner, Agent Casey's MIA. We'll look for He's him. He's my partner, damn it! Agent? I should be... Go home. Careful, moving weight. They think he's a para-utilitarian. No. Fuck this. I was so close to getting the clicker to wake. I'm not done here. Not until I find Casey. Not until my family is safe from this horror story. Tor and Odin were in the photo with a the clicker. They might know how it works. I'm off the case, but I can still visit family. Hello? Saga! It's Tor, your grandfather. About time you were coming to visit, kiddo. How did you know I was coming to see you? Never mind that. 
We have bigger problems. We're losing. Oh, fuck. Fuck you, you fucking hag. Fuck. Shit. Something is off at that nursing home. Valhalla Nursing Home, founded in 2014 for Odin and Tor Anderson of the Old Gods of Asgard fame for their twilight years. Built after the return comeback tour, flip-flop to be their farewell tour, cut short, canceled. As their agent, Barry Wheeler had managed to coax a few hit songs out of them before that. Balance Lays the Demon, a couple of others. The old men rocked like their namesakes. The backstage parties got out of hand. The air was thick with smoke. Wheeler squinted. His migraine flared, booze and drugs. A rock and roll cliche. They ran off after every gig. Wheeler had security track them down to the craziest after parties. Torin Odin might know something about the clicker. With Wake out of reach, this is my best lead. That's not right.
With only dream logic to lead me to the hotel, I look to the neon signs for guidance. in my head for so long. Sometimes I'd forget the pain was there, like it was the way you were supposed to feel. I was not in a dark place. I was the dark place, the source of it all, the vessel. Me and the writer, we were the same. This place kept pushing me under, getting into my head, poisoning me with darkness. I had to find a way to escape before it was too late. Too late again.
using darkness as a weapon. How's the memory doing? Sorry, who are you? Kidding. Good to see you, Tim. <laughs> you had me going. Cozy place you got here. You know, your disappearance from Bright Falls is still the only thing that folks talk about. Well, that and Deerfest. Is this where you ended up back in 2010? You know about that? Well, I am the sheriff of Bright Falls. Or I was. Are you related to Sarah Breaker? She was the sheriff of Bright Falls back in 2010. Yeah, she's my cousin. I had a police sketch made of Dor based on my dreams. I sent it around and Sarah recognized the face from an old case file from the 80s. I moved out there to look into it and became sheriff after she left to join the feds. What was in the case file about Dor? Not a lot of details in it. A local man named Warland Dorr went missing near Cauldron Lake. Eyewitnesses claim he was struck by a bolt of lightning and just vanished. I never found any official records of a Warland Dorr living in town or anywhere. Another dead end. So Deerfest is still a thing? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's bigger than ever. You know, I got zapped here right before it was about to happen. Funny. Me too.
the Ocean View Hotel. I was getting close. where the door led to. Barman, you caught my eye. I could use that shotgun. The room was empty except for the projector. More games. Was the film a message waiting to be played?
in this temple of shadow and mist. There's a window in the floor and a door in the ceiling. There's no knowing, am I standing still or running or kneeling? You're the one who's been calling me. Indeed. I'm Tom Zane. Welcome to the House of Zane. The poet. The diver. You look like me. How the hell... Or maybe you look like me, you handsome devil. The diver was a beloved character I played in one of my films. I'm a filmmaker. A celebrated auteur. I need answers. Why is return so important? What, Al? You, you always get worked up like this. Come on, I'll fix you a drink. Oh, yeah. We're in this together. Two artists collaborating, remember? Crafting the keys to our escape. Your magnum opus, Return, and its, its companion piece, my film. Sharing our, our life-altering visions, a, a melding of higher minds. Dreaming up our transcendental work of art. Here, in this room. 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 It's return, but because we return. And that is how the magic happened. Enough of this bullshit. Alice is in danger. I need another murder site to go further. Back to Parliament Tower. Scratches. Your wife is safe back in the real New York. But Scratch is reaching for her through an overlap. Return is the key to escaping the dark place. You need to get it before that freak does. <sighs> There's a murder site here in the hotel. Let the waves of your riding carry you there. If anyone asks, you were never here. Thomas Zane had ended our talk in what felt like a paranoid fit. I had what I needed from him. There was another murder site in the hotel to guide me further toward my escape. I had to write my way to it. An idea nagged at me. I could almost reach it. Police radio kept me awake. The whispers from the police radio kept me awake at night. The word through the ether. A murder in the backdrop of a play featuring a murder cult. <laughs> How meta can you get, he said looking knowingly at the camera. I could sense the cult of the word in this, and their leader, Mr. Scratch. Rumored to be Alan Wake, the writer who'd gone missing years before. The hotel was a perfect setting for a Casey story. I was on the right path. I would start at the entrance lobby. The entrance hall set the mood where everyone had come in. The victim, the murderer, the detective. An idea, clear as a vision, waited for me here. 
of this play? Yeah, that's me. Our performance of the cult was cursed from the pre-show ritual on. The cult is an immersive theatrical experience. Uh-huh. You're gonna have to walk me through what that means. Immersive theater. A play where the audience can participate, spread across this hotel. The cult is a legend. The only written copy of the manuscript lost, the play is passed on as oral tradition between theater companies. Each company only performs it once. The play was said to have special power. You were like kids playing with a Ouija board. And when you call for the devil, he will come. The pre-show ritual. That's it. Set it up. Start from the beginning. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new... Layers upon layers. A play about a murder cult, infiltrated by a real murder cult. The room at the end of the corridor was closed off. It felt significant. Something terrible would happen there. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new... The prop room had been changed from room 104 to room 225. The troop were busy building their own wicker man where they themselves would be sacrificed. I couldn't get in. 
I was missing something. Springs, a special place, a shifting space, existing in a countless number of parallel realities. Sometimes a quaint small town, sometimes a hulking metropolis. Different every time we set upon the road that leads us there. And yet, like a half-remembered echo of a fading dream, always familiar to us. These are the stories that take place there. More inspiring, macabre. Terrifying, heartbreaking, nail-biting, absurd, and thrilling. Sometimes all of these things at once. A haunting new season of mind-bending episodes written by Alan Wake. I am your host, Orland Orr, and I will see you soon in... Night Spring.
I needed to find the key. This is where they gathered before the play. This is where it began. The plot board was empty again. I needed a new draft back at the beginning, but closer to my goal. Another vision, another idea. set up a play in a hotel. Why this hotel? Because the rent is cheap? No. The ocean view was perfect for this. It's said to be haunted. Dark stories about murder, death, suicide. Supposedly, an actual cult once performed an unspeakable ritual to summon something in the ballroom did we summon the same thing tapped into something horrifying it it seemed like it was part of the play but it wasn't does that sound crazy you don't want to ask me about crazy kid a haunted hotel yes that's a trope for a reason i was both solving the crime and creating it as every writer did. The ballroom would be the stage of a key scene in the play.
I didn't have the key. dreaded the ideas this would conjure up. Nice I recognized my writers. Nice day. set you got here. What was the scene in this room? Well, this is what we call the writer's room. In the play, it's where the devil rewrites reality whilst God is asleep. The devil was our star role. I got a big time celebrity to play him, and he was method acting the role to perfection. He never broke character, always wore the coat mask. His name was scratched out on the posters. Mm -hmm. And who was this mystery celebrity? Let me guess. Alan Wake? I wish I could tell you. But turns out there were masks upon masks. Whoever he really was? Shit got weird when he was around. Some of the crew joked that we'd actually hired the devil to play himself. Mm -hmm. Mr. Scratch is the devil. He was born to play the role. I had to agree with Casey on that. This was something out of a horror story. But I had to keep going. This is not my writing. This is Scratch mocking me.
Hey, Tim. New map, huh? Yep. Look, I've never been to New York, but I can tell you that this ain't it. I heard you humming again. Yeah, I... I can't get this song out of my head. It's a real earworm. I heard it in my dreams. I know that song you keep humming. It's the theme from Night Springs. That old sci-fi show? Sci-fi horror anthology. I used to write for a long time ago. Look, it sounds a bit nuts, but I think the song is connected to Door. Or... It's my subconscious telling me that this is all pretty out there. I felt the presence of a new idea here. Mr. Scratch, if that's who the actor playing the devil was, had stayed in the hotel. Asking around at reception got me a room number. Hmm. 666. He had requested that room, specifically. The devil had a sense of humor. Or he really didn't. 
It was funny either way. According to the director, the actor hadn't mingled with the rest of the cast. He had only come out for the play. And always in character. Scratch had been here. I could sense his presence lingering in the room. I was about to have another killer idea. Okay, okay. let's talk about the murder victim. The lady who was killed in the climax of the play. The leading lady. Well, it was an honor to get to work with her. A grand dame, for sure. She went back a long time. Kept insisting she had seen the long-lost original script of the play. She'd been with this mysterious writer, his muse. That was her role in the play. The muse. She was staying in room 108, where the murder happened. The set of the final scene, right. The devil comes, an unstoppable force crashing through the hotel through each scene. Executed with devastating mastery. And all leading up to him meeting his muse. It turns out he knew her. He had only joined the play to get to her. To murder her. Not you again. The dark presence had come for me, drawn to the story I was writing as it grew darker. to find the muse, the murder victim, room 108. I've had enough of that freaking gumshoe dick asking too many freaking questions. Not letting us proper police take care of it. This is our chance to make the powers that be happy. We'll be set for life. Part of the inner circle. Well, amen to that, partner. I like it. And so will the fraternity, the club, the word. Our dear friends with many names. The way I see it, it was a lone nut job. A junkie out of his mind on some fancy new designer drug. Open and shut case. 
All we gotta do now is dump the evidence from room 108 in the usual place in the alley. This was the murder site. There was a record at the bottom of the bathtub. Another step. Somehow I was closer to home. Closer than ever before. It's you again. The FBI agent. Saga Anderson. I'm closer now. I can feel it. You helped me get closer to escaping. Wake. Are we are still trapped. We have the clicker. We can feel the images. You know about the clicker. It can help us. I destroyed the Dark Presence with it last time. You can help. You can find it. You must find it. I can get it to you. I have to understand. Did you write another story? Alice is in danger. I have to stop Scratch. I have to find return. I need to get back to my apartment. I'm writing a story to get through. Initiation. It's the only way. It's a story. You can do that, Rebecca. You can write out. It lasted only for a moment, like two planets passing in orbit. Saga Anderson was helping me, helping me go deeper. Closer to escape, somehow. I had to trust her. Parliament Tower. I had to get back to my apartment, my study. I had to find the manuscript of her turn. Parliament Tower was here, again. Zane said the manuscript of return was the key to escaping. I had to get it before Scratch did.
I needed to get inside the manuscript. For months, after Ellen died, I didn't leave the apartment. I was flattened by the confusion, the shock, the, the guilt, fear. I could barely get out of bed. Barry Wheeler started visiting. He even cooked me meals. I couldn't stand the guy when I first met him, but he's a better friend than I gave him credit for. And he still checks in. Even after he moved out west. Alice's work had consumed the apartment, her whole life. One morning, I saw a deer soar past my bedroom window. It was a, a balloon of some cartoon animal. And I looked out at the street below, and I saw a little girl crying. Like losing that balloon had just ended her whole world. It was the perfect image of the horror of caring. And that's when I got myself out of bed, and I picked up my camera. There was something in the dark. Something I needed to see, to show. The more shadows I photographed and filmed, the more I felt like I was on the verge of a breakthrough. I submerged myself in it. I only went out at night. My search became obsessive, but I still had no idea what I was looking for. in the shadows. Fear of the dark is really just fear of what could be that... that vast, paralyzing ocean. But photography... can freeze reality in a snapshot. Put a cage around the infinite and capture it. I need to prove those faces are really there.
manuscript of a novel. Return. A horror story about the dark presence escaping from the dark place, taking over Bright Falls. I couldn't remember writing it. I had not written it. I would never write this. I knew who had. Scratch. A monster with my face. If this story came true, Scratch would get out, people would die. Destroying the manuscript, it wouldn't stop it from happening. I would have to fix it, edit it. I could not change the genre of the story. I'd have to work within the constraints set by Scratch. I needed someone in the story to fight the darkness. Saga Anderson. I kept seeing her in my visions. She was already in Bright Falls, already involved, but she was not in return. Not yet. I'd write her in, try to stop Scratch within the limits of the horror story. It was almost impossible. It was taking too long. I had not reached the end. Scratch stopped me before I could finish my edits to the manuscript. The memory of my edits was already fading. Terrible things would happen if the manuscript came true. Scratch was there, at Parliament Tower, undoing my work. He could use the story to escape. He could go after Alice. I need... I needed a new draft of the story. Zane had said we worked on Return together. That was a lie. Scratch wrote Return. I would pay Zane another visit. He had guided me to two murder sites. I needed a new one to get back to Parliament Tower. A new draft of initiation. I don't have time for this, so let's get it over with. Tell me, was this all fake? A show? No one said otherwise, Mr. Wake. It was to indulge you, but we can stop pretending now. Uh, masks come off. Oh, I wouldn't go that far. I don't even think you know who's under your mask, but you know how to make things difficult for yourself. All these rules, endless, convoluted loops you insist on going through. You are so lucky, you know. There are so many people helping you. Armies of people. Myself. Your wife. Alice. I need to get to her. She's in danger. She is. 
because of you. And so is someone important to me, someone you pulled into this. You keep opening doors, peeking in, reaching through to get what you want, and that puts you in my path. I don't know what you're talking about. I have to go now. Maybe you will make it through this time. This has gone on long enough. This and our night springs, it was a nice distraction. It's time someone gave me a straight answer here. The next time we meet, the circumstances will be very different. And you would do well to return the favor by playing your part. Or stay out of my way, Mr. Wig. Whatever you say. Door, Zane, the masks were finally coming off. Was it a sign I was closer to escaping? I had no time to waste. you close, Tom. Eh, but on, what set the granny in the snow? When the panic is biggest, the help is also near. Door didn't seem happy to see me this time. Hearing the master is the root of wisdom. But don't let the game get you down. He's playing his role. Maybe put him in your films, Tom, like you have put me. <laughs> what films? <laughs> I'm a fan of your masterworks. Uh, there is Tom the Poet, my favorite, and Uerden Uer is the most famous one, of course. And is it true what I hear? That it's coming back to cinema soon? Is there a bottom to this rumor? I need to get back to my apartment. Can you help me? Well, plan is half done. You asked me to make sure you won't forget the... Uh, the... se valokuva oli? The light pictures. The photos you artist wife took. Uh, they are waiting in the shoe box in the basement. What you leave behind, you find in front of you. Okay. Thanks, Adi. find Alice's photos in a shoebox. were Alice's photos. I recognized the style. One showed the clicker sinking into darkness. The other showed a light in the shape of a bullet. They were important, even if I didn't know what to do with them yet.
drowning. I'm drowning. I'm drowning. No way out. There's no way out. Six deeper, deeper, deeper. This is hell. I'm now I die. Oh, she was dead. Let me die. I just want to sleep. Please. Please sleep. I'm so tired. I... To get to Parliament Tower, I needed to find a murder site. Zane would know where to find one. chosen me for some unknowable purpose. To be a demon. To sort the clues based on my interpretation. To change that which I observed. It was all a play. Shadows on the wall of the cave. An echo of the true events that happened somewhere else. Was I there to watch the shadows, or was I a shadow too? In a performance set up for someone else. Zane's room, 665, was upstairs. The elevator would take me there. Something told me Zane wouldn't be happy to see me this time.
I'm in control now. The second you try anything, I will shoot you in the head! Scratch wrote return, not me! You're a fucking liar! You've given up. You stopped writing. You said it was too dangerous, that, that we didn't deserve to get out. And then he showed up. Scratch. He promised to write. To get me the hell out of here. He was magnificent. A visionary. I mean, it was art. Finished. It took return and left me behind. It's still here, and so is he. I know I fucked up. But you can still catch him before he gets out, before he gets to your wife. And when you get to him, don't hesitate. Kill the bastard for what he did to us. There's a murder site. In my cinema, where my film Nightless Night is playing. I told you not to try anything! I had to find the movie theater Poet Cinema. The next murder site was there. Zane had created the film in tandem with Return to escape the dark place. I could see the searchlight beams of the movie theater on the far side of the plaza.
job. Hey, Alan. It's good to see another sane face. Not sure how sane I'm feeling. Careful out there, Tim. If you see me, make sure it's really me. Not some psycho wearing my face. Sounds like you've been having a rough go. I've been there. The missing time. The aliens. Missing time? It's the same thing I've been saying. The dreams. Sometimes I wake up in a completely different place missing entire days. I have no idea what happened. But I'm trying to find out. Things always get better if you just keep moving forward, Alan. Wait, what's this about aliens? Oh, uh, I was just convinced that everything going on with me was because of aliens. Abductions, signals beamed into my head, that kind of thing. Now I know it's been Dor all along. I haven't ruled out him being an alien, though. The cinema lobby was a gateway to other realities on the silver screen. I could set a scene here.
soldiers with you. The devil is back. It's in you. You're running right back to it. A loop. I have to stop. Stop. I needed a new draft of this. I was missing something. surface from the dark with their depraved acts of violence and fade back into the night, leaving behind bloody crime scenes and clues heavy with obscure meanings that led nowhere. Arriving at the cinema, I felt a monumental, terrifying revelation trembling before me, ready to open its jaws and swallow me whole. This place had significance to the cult. There was something to use there. I needed a new draft of the story. One that was... Someone had barricaded themselves in the room. I needed a new draft of the story. One that would get me. initiation ceremony or so we made our new members believe two of new york's finest they had performed endless favors to earn their place among us we had something special waiting for them and something very special for you alex casey who's your leader alan wake hmm? scratch zane give me a name 
<laughs> you will meet him soon enough. There was no end to the corruption. It fit the genre, so I'd use it. I needed a new draft of the story. When the draft of the story. One that would get me ahead of Scratch. some digging. To film freaks, he was a mythic auteur in the art house cinema. A rising star coming to America from Finland. But he only created one film. Tom the Poet. Before he went missing. Mirroring the vanishing of the main character in the movie. Played by himself. The biggest mystery was around his lost film. An early work made in Finland, Nightless Night, rumored to have mystic properties. Some claimed it was a snuff film, that the ritual murder in the film was an actual murder. There were no known surviving copies, but the cult chased it as if it were their unholy grail, just like Wake's books were. Cops had gotten their 15 minutes of fame with the cult, and it had been a scream. They were the murder victims. I had to find a way into the projection booth somehow. was the murder. I had to find my way to it. carefully laid out for you, a puppet blindly performing the ritual steps for the glory of the cult. Huh? What the fuck have you been smoking? Nightless night. A clip of the lost film survived. You will see, Mr. Casey. In the nightless night, you will finally see. Nightless night was Zane's film. It played a role in this story.
Bane's lamp on the screen had no light. I could transfer the light in my lamp to his. into the night. The seedy alley away from prying eyes was a good scene for dark deeds. Straight to the top, the dirty cops looked down on the city, their city. They had committed repulsive deeds to get there. They told themselves it was worth it. It was locked from the other side. death from the rooftop. remembering it. Talk to me, 
damn it! You've seen the film? Good, good. Now you're ready to meet the Grand Master. He's waiting for you in the projection booth where everything will be revealed, where he will project a new reality onto this one. And now, Mr. Casey, I've played my part to the end. No, no, no! Crazy bastard! Why did he jump? The projection booth. Was that where I find the murder site? this time right just making sure it's me Tim you ran into scratch didn't you my double well it's hard to say but he sure looked like you it was weird because I heard that you got out of this place I guess that was just a rumor anyway I'm just doing my thing still looking for door I've got a new theory on that front. What's this new theory? It's a lot, so buckle up. You have your doubles, and I keep dreaming about other versions of me, right? Now, this makes me think there must be other realities besides ours. But ours is connected to the rest of them. Dor might even be a part of the reason why. He seems to be the only constant, but what does he want? What's he planning? Sorry. <laughs> You've got your own problems. Sometimes I think I'm going crazy trying to make sense of this. You know, maybe this whole thing is much bigger than what we're able to see. Or, everything I just said is bullshit. <laughs> Who knows? What was my double doing? Did he have a manuscript with him? I need to know. But he didn't have anything. No, no, he had a cocktail, and he was smoking. He wasn't like you said he'd be. Very, very touchy-feely. He wore leather pants. He was actually looking for you. He asked the same question about the manuscript. And then he asked if I was going to a costume party and if he could come. Like, I told him this wasn't a costume and he ran off. I guess he doesn't like cops. That wasn't Scratch. For this initiation, do you? Nah. 
I'm sure we just chant some ceremonial stuff. Nothing to me. Well, it's about time. We paid our bills. <laughs> disappeared. Dumped all those nobodies down that chute. What we did or didn't do, it's all behind us now. Going straight to the top, Parker. Yeah, like we died and went to heaven. This is coming! I found myself in a maze of film equipment. There had to be a way to the projection booth from here. I'm here, you son of a bitch. Show oh, yourself. Man. The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I was back where I started. A loop within a loop. I had I'm to here, keep going. You son of a bitch. Show yourself. Who said that? The grand master of my ass. You're a clown in a mask. I'm not the one wearing a mask. The Casey in the story was losing it. I wasn't far behind. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. Find I'm here, a way to deliver Show yourself. Who, who, was who said that? That's a real clever trick, asshole. You can run, but you can't hide. Sure, that 
not worked. Now we're fine. Maybe there's a missing step before return. What's between departure and return? The tasks, the challenge, the lesson. Initiation, yeah. Yeah, I haven't read that. To master this place, to set things up. Can't go to return before initiation. That's right. That feels right. Initiation. I have to write initiation. I was back at the beginning again. I had to keep going. I'm here. Find a way to another site. Show yourself! Casey, who's, who's there? <laughs> oh, you got the wrong guy. Oh, no. Oh, no, you don't! What the fuck? any sense is in your psychotic brain as a fictional character in the story you fulfilled your purpose you brought the writer of the story here you can go now casey no, no, no i'm not going anywhere before i get some answers how was i in that movie how, why does all this feel so familiar what who the fuck are you who the fuck am i no and welcome to you, Alan Wake. What the hell? This is the ritual to lead you on. We are just one step away from your final destination, Mr. Wake. But first, here is an unanswered mystery for you. If Casey was fictional, and you assumed his role as the detective, are you now fictional too? Whose story are you living, Mr. Wake? The visions are getting under my skin, becoming too close for comfort. Not a separate layer, but mingling with my own reality in the dark place. Wait. Dead end. This can't be right. Did I miss something? The murder site. The mask was the key. This is how I could help her. Saga Anderson, listen. I, I've been tricked. Scratch wrote returned. I, I tried to fix the story, but he stopped me before I reached the end. He has it now. It's the key to escape. What do you mean, escape? Wait, you scratch. I need to stop him. I need to stop him before he gets out. He's after Alice. I'm still trapped, but I'm making progress. I wrote you in to be the story's hero. Scratch made a horror story. I need to match the genre. It has to be dark, but the hero can break through, save her family, save us all. Save her family? Are you talking about my family? Yes. Whatever you're doing, it's working. You just need to keep going. Is we have family in the horror story? closer now. Closer than ever before. 
But there was no time to lose. Everything was hanging in the balance. I could still lose it all. Parliament Tower. I had to make it work this time. I could stop Scratch, get the manuscript, fix its ending. of this nightmare, but I damn well try. This case would never be closed. I had more questions now than at the start. The irony of being trapped in a postmodern detective story. I felt watched. The eyes of some unseen audience on me. I wanted to turn to the hidden camera and tell them to fuck off. But I didn't know where to look to break the fourth wall. There would always be another case for Casey. A million stories in this dark city. The night opened up to welcome me. I walked into her arms. Roll credits. It wasn't Zane. It wasn't Scratch, either. Huh? 
You're me? Me? I don't understand. There's a lot I don't understand. The dark place operates in loops. Time is a story. I'm calling you from a different point in that story. From the future? I'm never getting out of here, am I? Yes, you will. And no, you won't. And that is by your own choice. What does that mean? I'm sorry for what you'll have to go through. Alice's photos you found from the shoebox in the talk show basement. Before you can go to Parliament Tower, you must put them in the shoebox at her statue at the plaza to help you, to help Alice, to help Saga Anderson. I'm my own deus ex machina? Really? How many writers does it take to finish a story? One for each draft. It's the same writer, but in a different point in time. I follow the steps he laid out for me. Alice's photos from the talk show building basement. Adi had guided me there. I bring the photos to the shoebox by the statue. 